Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. I am Lily and in this video I will do a playthrough of the Animal Husbandry patch. I will play it in beginner difficulty for the very new players. It will have a lot of spoon feeding because being a new player to the game at this stage is going to be really difficult unless you have some guidance. We will play from default Neolithic timeline as that is when we can start getting migrants with livestock depending on where we are in Europe. So I will start in inland Spain and I have never made a playthrough before in inland Spain so this is going to be fun uh, but now we also have so many new rivers in Spain that we can basically go wherever we want to inland and still find water to settle by. This also means that we will get livestock fairly quickly because we are so close to the Near East and to the southern part of Atlantic Europe that we will be a little bit ahead of the rest of Europe. I will play on fast as that is my favorite speed in the game. Yes, Lily likes it fast. Hang on ladies, we are going in. Okay, let's see where we are. Uh, yeah, we have the default start. We're not going there. We're going to keep it spring. We're going to keep it beginner and fast. And we're going to have the tutorial on. Because I'm going to go through the tutorial with you new players. And I would like to be in Spain somewhere. Where are we going to go? There's so many rivers here. There's like six or something of the new rivers are actually in Spain. So it's fairly inland, isn't it? I would like a mountain, I think. Oh, that's like Portugal over there. No, we don't want to go to Portugal. How about close to the Pyrenees? That's mountain. We get both goats and sheep. And, and this belongs to region one, which means it's going to be hot. Which means we might get a lot of wheat. Let's, uh, let's try. So, what we need to do now is basically to open the tutorial to get back control over our tribe. I'm going to go through the tutorial when we have landed and do it step by step. But of course, we're going to be filling it out a lot because uh, the tutorial is just extremely basic and you kind of have to learn a lot on your own. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Yeah, oh, she's old. She's 50. I do prefer the young ones because they last longer before you need to build graves. Um, we have nine females, that's fine. What knowledges do we have? That's not the worst at all. I think that's quite all right. So these windows, for all of you new players, these windows are detachable. And if you wish to see the resources you've got along with your knowledges, you need to open them and place them where you would like them to be. So females are nine and males are 12, that's fine. Sits and tap and this is where you can see all your members. And this of course is your tribe leader who will have all the final says on all policies. So what you see is red is the restrictions that your tribe leader has placed. And you can place your policy on everything you like, except on the red. She will not bunt into any of your communal tasks because she's not interested in what they're doing as long as they're happy while they are doing it. So, yeah, we can do this. Right, so now we just need to find a place where we can actually plonk our butts down. But I don't want to be kind of like with ugly mountain. I want it to be a little bit flat so we can build some farms. That looks all right, doesn't it? A little bit flat there. I think we can get away with this, can't we? Let's have a look room like the speed they have now the speed is increased because of the trading and the raiding uh, i'll explain all that after the patches released <laughs> the last two patches right so this is where you will get some extra help with the tutorial so it's, this is basically the local map uh, and what you need to do to get control of your tribe again is to follow a few of these steps which is something we should do all the time to learn the game if we are new gathering groups are the groups that will uh, collect your materials and your food and you can see if we follow the instructions we will be able to 
find each and every material that we can put in a gathering group. Um, we will also learn to do limits, which is really important to avoid waste. But I will do that in a bit. You can see this is the infinity symbol, which you can click and then create a, a limit to how much your gatherers should gather of the sticks, for instance. And here you can decide how many people you would like to have working in this group. And if you have enough incoming with a few workers, then you don't need to up it. So it all depends on how much you need into your tribe and how much is actually coming into your tribe. There you go. Let's see what the tutorial says. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the tip here is important. Every object, everything that is in the game that you as a player can do anything about has a tooltip. So if you hover over it, you will always get a tooltip coming up. Everything has a tooltip. Just keep that in mind. So let's see. Um, press H for controls and shortcut helps. So you can do it uh, like this. Or like this. So you can either press H or press the question mark up in the corner to the right. You can see all the controls here. Uh, for those that do not know, the X-Raid mode is find a citizen. Click it and you will see, oops, click X. You can see where she's going. I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, I'm going to use this group and I'm going to add this one. And he is going to gather sticks. I'm going to focus on him. And then I will click X. Okay, okay, he already met the the sticks he wanted to gather. Okay, let's do a few more than with some other stuff as well. <laughs> let's do some hazelnuts. So you can see. Let me see. Uh, we're not going to go gather hazelnuts. Do we not have hazelnuts? We do. There you go. There you can see where they're going. You just press the X and then you will see exactly where they're heading. And she's of course heading to the hazelnut bush. Tree. It's not a bush, it's a tree. It's fully grown. Right, so that's how you use the X-ray. Right, let's go next. I'm going to put it on pause so we don't waste too much time. Yeah, we want to find a place to camp. So what we're going to do, that we already have done, we have migrated already, so we don't need to worry about that. We are going to find a place to place the uh, fireplaces. There's a lot of places there. Place, 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 fireplace, place, place. Yeah, good English there, Lily. Yeah, good sentence build. Let me see, is there anything here? Yeah, we can do this one, can we? I still don't like these eyesores. They are really ugly, aren't they? But it is pretty here. Look how pretty it is in Spain. Rolling hills, nice. We're going to build upwards, aren't we? Mm. Get some long houses on top here. That's going to be so pretty. If we survive, that is. <laughs> if we don't cock up too much and kill the tribe. Could happen, you never know. Right, uh, so I'm going to leave the tutorial a little bit just to get the game started. So what I'm going to do with my first group is to give it a mod, but I'm only going to give it a very small amount because we only need mod to build the offerings at the moment because we are not likely having everything else that we need mod for. You can see it's going to be the oven and of course the... Um, Neolithic roundhouse and of course later also the longhouse but for now this is what this group will focus on so I'm going to give them two and that's it for that one then I'm going to make more groups because we are going to need a lot more things to be gathered but for now we are going to be smart and only gather the materials of the objects we're going to build right now so what we are going to build right now are fireplaces a few peltots and a few offerings because the most important part to get done in the game is to get up comfort for your people as quickly as possible otherwise they will grow unrest and if they are too annoyed with you they will actually leave the tribe and we do not want that right so this is my second one yeah we are going to use this one for sticks so you can just as well place it fairly high to start with because you will need it for your fencing of your farmlands that's really important to fence in your farmlands. I will show you later how to do it. 
Uh, otherwise, herbivores will go eat your crop and trample on your sprouts. Not a good idea. Okay, so this one is going to be stones because we're going to need a lot of stones to build several pelt huts plus large fireplaces. I'm not going to build the small ones, I'm going to build the large ones directly. And these are going to gather the logs. Uh, we do have lumberjacks that can cut logs, but in order to get those to be functional, we need axes. And in order to get axes, we need to get crafters. And we're not going to do that now. We're just going to pick them up from the ground. For instance, this one here will be picked up from the ground by your workers. Or they will crop old uh, tree stumps that does not have beehives in them. This one will not be cropped because this one has a beehive in it. This one you can get uh, honey from. I will show you how to get honey as well. Where did I put my camp? Not there. Gosh, I have forgotten. It was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was here I wanted it. Yeah, yeah. Right, and those are the groups I'm going to activate at the moment. The rest will clear. So I'm going to place down a few of these. And also a few of the offerings so people can pray. Just give them max priority. They will do them all equally no matter priority though. But it has to do with how quickly they are being repaired and what is being prioritized to be repaired. So building and repairing has the highest uh, priority in the game automatically without you doing anything. They will always drop uh, tasks to go do building. And then we are going to add, I went to admit, how many, I'm going to close that for now. We have 18 leather, that means we can build three peltas because they take five leather each. And we have already been granted the fine sticks that we also need for this. We just need to gather the stones and we are going to do that, of course. There you go, so just have those placed down. I'm placing them fairly far away from the camp because we are... Uh, not too far a future going to build better housing and as we get better housing we're going to take away those who are smaller and grant my people better housing because that will make them more happy right and then of course max out the labor age and the labor time so labor age is the age groups you wish to have working if you max it out they work from they are born on basically till they are 70 years old if you have it on default, you have only the adults mostly working and also the uh, older people up to 58. Um, the young children will start working at roughly four years old or so on that. And the labor time is, of course, a 24 hour based uh, system. So if you have it on default, it is roughly 12 hours. But here we're going to have it on 20. It is not quite. 20 because there is also a time taken away for them to sleep so you can't drive your your people to work the you know 24 7 that's not going to happen but uh, yeah you can also just say notches i said that is three of six and this of course is five of six i'm just going to have that on until stuff have been built right so let's get started see how far they can get Maybe I should uh, uh, pause a few because they need to clear everyone, each and every part of it. So I'll put that one on pause at least and then see. <clears throat> did I remember to make one with. Uh... No, I did not. I forgot the logs, didn't I? Or did I do it already? I did. There's a bit further down. Yep, let's see if they can manage it before night time. They are slow with the logs, aren't they? The thing with the logs is that they can easily get sticks instead of logs. So, well, at least we got uh, the fireplaces, which is good. Quite happy with that. So I am actually going to turn down the labor time so that they do not wake up with increased labor time and now I can take away 
There you go. Now I can just build that Stacey Fit because now they have uh, options to pray and the praying will grant you appeasement from unrest because they will be unhappy about having to sleep by the fireplace instead of having proper housing. But a fireplace is, of course, better than sleeping in the open. It is uh, minus 45 while sleeping, minus 45 happiness, that is, while sleeping in the open is uh, insta minus 50 happiness. And this is increasing happiness, so it takes away 30% of the unhappiness when they pray. So always get up comfort for your people at the start so they are more acceptable towards that you can't build everything in one go because there's no way you can have uh, enough of the uh, um, amenities they need to be happy so we're going to get some of the things that the uh, some of the objects need and obviously also of course the crafters because they will make tools and materials out of these so the uh, the uh, the objects that need these are of course uh, also tools materials and then some objects such as the baskets needed let me see and then we should really get some building material going so straw is used for a lot of the houses and we're going to aim for the straw hut because that is the, the best quality one we have at the moment you can see that uh, the pelt hut is minus 20 percent happiness and uh, the small straw hut is minus 33 it's quite stark while this one is only minus seven so of course we want to take the one that gives the least unrest right so let's finish these did i put that one yeah and then we should uh, have one that is gathering the crop that we need to create farms and the farms we can create are wheat flax beets and peas so these need to initially be harvested in the wild and then we can use them to seed our farmlands but in order to get the grains from the stalk of wheat and flax we also need to thresh it so we need a thresher we see we just need to figure out where we're going to put our farmlands hmm. so many stones everywhere messing up hmm. How about over here? We can take them over here, can't we? So one, one of each. Uh, yeah, we would lack one, so I'm going to put one on pause. Unless this, let me see. Uh, oh, they're all carrying it. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to let them finish that. I'm going to. Yeah, that's fine. But we also need a fisherman. Those are going to be food later anyway. Let's do the fishermen. You don't need a ton of fishermen. If you have roughly one fisherman per 10 to 8 to 10 members, you should be all right. Uh, when we are in Neolithic, we should try to focus much more on getting farms up and have that to sustain people rather than any of the wild produce. I always take in wild produce anyway because I like the variety. And so does my tribe. They like a varied uh, diet. Can do a hunter group as well. Um, the hunters, if you do not tell them otherwise, they will hunt all the types of animals that we have at the moment. Um, if you do not want them to hunt everything, you can tick in the animals you want them to hunt. Um, the way the system works is that every morning you get new tasks from the system and the system will be based upon your choice of prey and then also the vicinity of prey which is why these two are up here because you picked we picked boars and the system then picked the two closest ones and the system will also avoid targeting pregnant animals wherever they can so i'm just going to leave that open so they can hunt what they want uh, when it comes to the slider here, it uh, basically is the size of, of prey you would like your hunters to focus on. For instance, now the hunters would only go for the largest uh, animals. 
and likewise if you go this way we'll only go for the smallest or if you go like this then it will go for the medium sized I normally leave it on always but I also rarely use more than one hunter so the hunter will not manage to extinct any of the animals right and then we just need some crafting groups I like to create three and divide the tasks between them and I like to make at least 20 ropes because each big hut takes 10 each and the smaller ones take five and we have our first set of migrants you can uh, check them over before you accept them to see if they have anything to offer to your tribe what you should also look at is their traits if their traits are really bad they are not necessarily contributing to a good growth in the tribe but they are workers and, and workers are always needed with regards to the knowledge you can see uh, what knowledge they are bringing to the tribe whatever is red is what they are lower than the max tribe is whatever is blue is what they are equal to what the tribe is and whatever is green is what they are higher than the tribe is so anyone who has any green knowledges to give to you you should just accept if you can feed them that is okay so we will talk about that as we go along so I'm going to put these on wooden spears the reason I want these on wooden spears is because I want a specific group to handle wooden spears only because you will need them to do your farms you need them for tilling and for economical planting as well if you don't have any tools to do the planting with then you are wasting a lot of seed because then the tribe has to hand seed and that means more seeds are being used and these are going to craft fine sticks only because that is basically used in almost everything you build of tools and materials and also many of your objects and you can see in order to create this you are needing sticks and we already have a group that uh, is doing oh that's not sticks is this sticks that is doing sticks it's these and uh, yeah let me see what does the tutorial say we should do next no that's not it uh, so we are here uh, mm -hmm. yeah it's like um, very very um, basic tips try to find uh, rivers to settle by because then you could also fish if you go to the coast for instance you will be able to get clams as well um, let me see another tip uh, when you migrant, you will take with you all the food and processed resources you had in previous location. Uh, you will first take all the food, then you will take all the manufactured items such as tools and, and materials that you've made. And then the tribe will carry whatever is left until their carry allocation has been spent. Yeah. Um, so you have the historical years and uh, the seasons and the times. So this is historical year and this is the actual in-game years. And then you have of course the season, the time of day. And this is uh, work and resting time. So when you have the hammer you know that your, your work hours is in effect. And when you see a bowl it means that the work hours are now over. Meaning your tribe will be resting. Of course this is the speed. You have all types of speed. And this here. Is a very useful thing that you can get to get rid of your knights very quickly because the knights are then going in super speed instead of slow and of course then you have the temperature and last but not least you have the map toggle when you click it you come out to your map and you can see your tribe is here and to get back you just click the map toggle again Right, let's go to next. Uh, tribe arrives, targeted, important to place sleep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So basically, it just says that what we have already done get some peltats up in a place for people to sleep. So you can see it's very detailed about how to do this. Um, also, when it comes to using the the mouse and the keyboard to rotate what I always do is alt and then the mouse wheel then I can do it whichever way I like or you can press R or T to 
rotate the object. <clears throat> if you open a page but you or take an object and you uh, do not want it anyway, just uh, right click on the mouse, the, the, the right mouse, click once and then it goes away. Um, yeah, we have built a big fireplace. Oh, actually, we built a few big fireplaces. Oh, yeah, don't need that. But uh, if you uh, fear that you won't get enough logs or stones to build the big fireplace, a small fireplace is better than sleeping in the open. Yeah? Let me see. Yeah, we've already made uh, the groups, so that is uh, fine. Uh, you can make eight groups per type. If you go above, then you will be told that you have too many groups of this kind created. Let me see. Uh, yeah, um, I'm going to take a break from that and then I'm going to show you how to make some limits on your food. So what you will always find is that the system will tell you what type of food you have compared to what type of food you don't have and also um, in that is the food that is not in season so even though it says that you can't find this we can't get it it doesn't mean that you will never have it it just means that either this locality needs to have it growing from ground or you need to wait till next year to get it or that you have harvested it up or last that you actually don't have it in this locality but all localities have all the crop types but some need to wait a bit longer than others it's a very varied it's a random seed about amount that you get and when so even though it says we don't have these um, because for now they're not in season but when they come in season they will um, take away the exclamation mark and you can have your gatherers go gather them um, since this is what I call a straggler group, where only three people are gathering, I max out the work spot to putting on the very, very lowest profile. This means that only people who have no other jobs will go here and do these. So I'm not going to put um, any kind of limits on this food. But I will put limits on these. Because we're not many enough to waste them. So I'm going to put them on... 10.0, yeah? How about that? I'm going to put them on 100. Because uh, if we do get uh, livestock, we can also feed uh, some of our fruits and our foods to at least the pigs. And some of the herbivores love the fruits. So, yeah, there are more than one way to feed your livestock. Let me see. Um... Yeah, you have material incoming there, Mr. Hunter. They're building it for you. Yeah. So you can see uh, the system will always report what they are lacking. So I could probably have these to, to gather some bones as well. Apart from the uh, sticks, which they're almost done with. When the group has finished all their tasks for the day, they will go to the next group that has tasks and need people. So that's good. Okay, so uh, we have two of those. We need five to build the straw hut. So I'm just going to wait till the five ropes are ready. What we should do is to create some storage areas. I'm just going to follow the uh, um, tutorial a bit better yeah the tip here is really important uh, this is like I just said some of the resources are seasonal like what is not seasonal is sticks stones uh, grass grows basically all the year round because there are several types of grass um, yeah but what is always in season and out of season are the the foods, all foods will always have a season. And if we overproduce or over harvest, then the tribe can't eat it up or use it up. And then it will decay in storage. So that is a hundred percent waste. We should not do that. So just place limits on things that are coming into camp in two greater amounts. Okay, so let's go further on. Yeah, this is what we talked about earlier 
about the group configuration where you put the work spots to how many you want and also of course um, the limits on how much you want them to build so I'm going to put limits on these because we're not going to have a million of them absolutely no point and this is your tribesmen figuring things out themselves by working with stuff or by sitting by the fireplace and talking about things they have experienced things they've seen in the world and uh, ideas they got while they were working with stuff so now they have increased tribe knowledge and this is uh, authentic to how it used to be back in the day okay so i have 30 of those and 50 of those when you have placed all the restrictions or the limits on everything that you wanted to have limits on, you need to remember that as the tribe grows and the environment changes, you also need to change your groups with regards to what amounts you are gathering. So always keep an eye on that you don't overproduce because that is not a good idea. It's a waste. Okay. Um, let me see. So in order to to pause or to get some of these, for instance, fishermen and hunters and lumberjacks to not uh, overhunt, overchop or overfish, we do not have limits of these. So what you need to do then is basically just pause them or take away a work spot or whatever work spots you think you need to calm down on the production. Just be aware of that. Okay, let's follow next. Now we're going to make storage area. So basically we're going to the build and we are going to the storage. And these are the storage areas that you can put down to keep a bit more uh, organization in your tribe. And you can also choose what type of storage you would like to place down with regards to size and pattern. And I prefer the square ones no dinky doinkies just plain square ones so i'm going to make um, a six for the largest material so the materials that you you gather in uh, bigger amounts which is of course stones and sticks and wheat no wheat <laughs> and straw and uh, reed if you want that of course and then further we're going to make uh, several for the crafters and uh, to be extra tidy we should also make for the weapons and the tools and materials let's see how far we get with these so uh, first of all we're going to put the clay clay should be there the mud then we want uh, the planks then we want the reed stones grass straw not everything that i place down will need our open storage here because we have uh, we have uh, storage facilities that we can use instead but it, it, it's okay to have an overflow area it's totally fine and uh, we're going to use a lot of those wooden spears i'm going to make a a big storage area for them um, and also for the bone knives and let's get some of these basically just uh, create a spot for each and every one of them so they don't just chock them around as they see fit because they will do that and normally they just throw them around where the fireplace are and let me see that's way too big yeah I'm not going to do that I'm going to take away that and I will instead create smaller ones for these for the uh, fine stones and for the flint cores because flint stones and flint cores flint stones fine stones and flint cores are uh, more critical scarce resources so you should not overproduce those you should not over harvest because they will be brittle in in storage it's better to leave them out in nature they keep better the best storage option is always in nature always let me see what do I not have I have that one I have that one let's do some of the the weapons and the tools yeah and you did I already do you 
No, I didn't. I didn't do the excess. Okay. We can just add the others as we get them as well. Don't have to add everything now. Okay, so uh, the the uh, straw is just floating around there. So what I would like to do is to just basically create a straw storage, which is basically a haystack, isn't it? So the, the, the way you do this the storages is quite easy. You just basically click, you know, and then assign whatever resource you want there. It's not any hocus pocus. When you have the, the buildings tab open, you can see everything that you've placed down, everything that you have built. Okay, a thresher is done, so it's time to assign it. And you will, of course, do wheat. We need to get down some tanners as well to keep up with the leather because the treasures will need leather to be repaired. You need to repair all your objects on a very regular basis. So, Lies, if, if you mess up, your tribe with regards to either your policies or if you have too little food or stuff like that or too little housing people will let you know um, what they are thinking or what they are feeling so let's see if we can find someone like this one she wants a better housing than a pelt hut we do have the option to build better but we just need to gather enough materials but they will let you know that they are not really happy what they actually have at the moment. Here you see Alida, you can see she has a headdress and a special cape showing that she is the leader. Yeah. Okay, so that was storage areas as well. And you can see how you place it as well. Yeah, if the terrain is too steep, you won't get the uh, full use of the storage area you created. But uh, finding flat land should not be an issue whatsoever. So that is uh, <clears throat> not an issue. If you build too much and you would like to remove some, let's just place down a bit. Say if you have a, um, an area that you made too big but you want it to be smaller, then you can press the Alt and then hover over and they will disappear they will be taken away so there's a way to of course regret and also if you just want to get rid of the entire storage area you just press dismant disband dismantle or slaughter Ta -da! so in this case it's just uh, disband it basically when it's already built then it will be dismantled because then it's going to be periodically taken down bit by bit and slaughter, of course, will be for your livestock animals. We will go over that when we get that far. Um, what else should we do here? So the, the limits that uh, have been placed on basically everything of materials will also help you to make sure that you don't waste too much. For instance, if you have like uh, open um, income of the nuts without your people eating them up you will lose these nuts so it is better to, oh these nuts <laughs> i'm so sorry i'm so childish <laughs> so you will lose those nuts <laughs> oh please larry i'll edit this out <laughs> oh, dude. Um, going from now so what you do is you place on the limit that you think that your tribe will eat and whatever is left in the nature then has a chance to reproduce and then get an offspring from, for instance, our hazelnut tree. The percentage of offspring is um, depending on your tribe size. Amazing, amazing technology going on here, amazing calculations. The larger your tribe, the more the environment will accommodate your tribe size with regards to materials and food. It's quite amazing and often when you land you can have a what we call a starter feast where everything is untouched and you have tons of food what you could do is just harvest wild because it is not going to be a waste because it is last year's produce 
So it's always uh, uh, something good, no matter where you land, and that is the uh, start of feast. So we also uh, put on limits to make sure that the workforce we are using can reach all the things we want them to gather. For instance, when our work group has many, many things together, they will gather first what is closest, and then they will go on to the next that is closer. For instance, these three. If I did not have any limit on these, then they will uh, be gathering fiber forever and under gathering the uh, fine royal stone and also the flint cores. So having a, a limit on everything you're harvesting in a group with few workers is very, very smart to make sure that you get some of all the materials they have tasked into, into camp. Right, where were we? Okay, so... Uh, you can also add cells, of course, to to the uh, storage area. What you do then is you you press the control key along with the uh, storage area, and then you expand your current place down storage area. So that's useful tips. Okay, let's move on. And da -da -da -da, yeah, da -da -da -da, yeah, yeah. This is how we have already done it. We have create the storage areas and then we have assigned basically all resource we have to have it a bit more tidy and organized and of course uh, the better storage options you have the longer things will last for instance we should now start building pits for the crop seeds and pits has a 300 percent decay reduction rate compared to any open storage the best one we have in the game at the moment is the clay containers. They have a 500% uh, decay reduction compared to open storage. So you should also try to aim for that. Um, you will need quite a few to cover your uh, crop uh, incoming when you have a fairly large tribe. So then you can just as well go over to the storehouse. That can take a lot more. Storehouses can handle 300 kilos, while the clay container can only han handle 100, but it lasts longer. However, things that have a, a slow a decay rate anyway in nature can easily go to your storehouses if the amount justifies it, because it's fairly expensive to build and also fairly expensive to keep up. Reeds is not a scarce material as such, but straw is much more abundant than reed. So that's that. Yep. Uh, also, you can see the decay. This is another tip. You can see the decay on resources. I need to close it down. You can see the decay and the decay you can see is the brown circle going around your resources. You can see how much they have decayed. And when it nears 100% decay, it will go very thick. So you can be very aware that, okay, we have big changes coming on. And this means you are going to lose this unless you are using up the material or the food. So that is always a, a good thing to keep an eye on. So when you see that a lot of your food is well over half decay, it means you are overproducing. Your tribe cannot eat up whatever you are um, harvesting to camp. So keep an eye on that as well. It's a lot to keep an eye on, I know. And for new players, it might actually be a nightmare to get into all this. But play slow and take it one day by one day. Don't be afraid to fail because we all fail no matter how good we think we are. The game will have your ass in so many areas. You just need to get used to it and figure out ways to, to best um, thrive with your tribe. Not all tribes did survive. Not all tribes thrived. And some tribes just barely scrape by. Some do thrive, of course. But uh, many others just basically died out, just like it used to be back in the day. Okay, so now we have the haystack. And the haystack will uh, reduce the decay. I think it's quite high with 150%. Uh, so the hay will last a lot longer if you place it in a haystack. Also, if you place it in a haystack, then wild herbivores will not go steal your hay when winter time is here because at winter time if there's low uh, grass in the wild then the wild herbivores uh, will struggle to find food 
so they will come to your camp and see if you got any straw available for them to chomp on and they do that all the time i sometimes do not fence it in because i want to see them come eat yeah a bit weird <laughs> what are you lacking okay do we have access we do okay so now we see how the system informs us that we cannot stoke this fireplace because we have no more logs and if you hover over it you can see there are not enough logs available so we need to do that so what we can do if the guys that are on the logs are not managing to get enough logs because they come home with sticks instead you can see by the count it is 135 sticks and my uh, gatherers are set to 100 so that means that 35 of those sticks were gathered by those who were supposed to get logs and they did not win there at all so i'm going to put it down to one and let that work cross go somewhere else and instead add a wood choppers group now these guys can chop the trees that we need for the fireplace we only have one axe so far and it is probably taken by some of the gatherers to cut stuff because the uh, the stone axe can be used for both chopping and cropping and cropping is what you do with your grass and many of your food types and also reed and other materials. So the uh, wood chopper will have to wait till we have more axes or until the axe we have becomes available to take. Here you can also decide the tree size that you want your choppers to take. So I don't mind having it on full, uh, it doesn't matter to me, but the bigger they are, the more logs they will come home with. So I will just put it roughly like this for a while and see the amounts coming in so let's see uh checking the craftsmen to make sure that we have stuff in coming and i'm going to make more of these to cover everything so that they don't steal my axes so now we are 29 and uh pregnancies we've had one at least did we have any migrants? We did. We did have a few migrants, didn't we? So that also helps the population regrowth, population increase. So you could you could reject migrants if you don't like them or if you don't want to feed them. That is totally fine and totally up to you. Let's see. So the, the UI system is quite fairly straightforward. You will, of course, have the tribe main page, which is this one. And of course, then you have your citizen tab where you can go over each and every citizen and look at them. You can click them and find out about the, the traits and, you know, good and bad. Uh, all start with equal uh, main traits, which is charisma, fitness, intelligence, skill and will. And all these have grades that are either times three positive or times three negative the red are negative the green are positive or the blue is normally biological right uh, these are, are more uh, detailed things that you will learn yourself as you go along and you play you will see uh, what do the different traits or the grades of these traits do to your people uh, this is why we have so much individuality in the tribe because they're all different so everyone can be checked out. Everything can be hovered over to see what is going on. And here we can see we are uh, lacking a uh, rope. No, we're not lacking rope. We're lacking fine sticks. And these are making fine sticks. So we just have to wait till they have made some more. Let's get a bit of speed. Let's see what the uh, tutorial says next. Yeah, oh, look at them improving again. And now we can create baskets. And basket is, uh, I'm gonna close this for a moment. Basket is what you use for all your animal produce, all your animal product, and of course, also um, fish and all seafood. It takes 16 fibers, so you need to, to have quite a bit of plant fiber in your tribe to keep up with these. So I have 19, so that means we can put down uh, a basket. I'm gonna place one down to put uh, honey in. Because I wanna go see when people are gathering honey. 
And it is very, very loved by your tribe, by the way. They are absolute suckers for honey. I'm going to see if I can get these guys to... How much do we have? We have 400. I can put it to 100. That means they will stop doing these stones because now they've met their quota plus plus. And they will instead go look for honeycomb. And we are going to go and uh, spy on them when they are getting the honey. A uh, system will always target whatever is closest to camp first before they go further out. And I'm going to see if I can find a... A uh, beehive. Didn't we have one here earlier? I forgot what it was. No, that is, that is. See? This is honey. And the bees, of course. Yummy sugar. Let me see if any of them are in camp already. Where are you going? You're going somewhere else? Okay, you're going that way. And. Maybe that's closer. And you are going. Oh, there's one over there as well. I see it. Oh, you're going here. Yeah, see? You see? Uh, when you also press X in Tri Page, you will uh, find everything that has been placed down by player to be encased in white. I'll show you. Look. Yeah. And he has this basket on his back <laughs> where he puts his honey in. And they can put quite a few. They have quite high um, storage uh, capacity. I think it's, is it, is it 10 maybe? I think it might be 10. I can't quite remember. Right, I am going to get tribe page. Then I'm going to press X. Ta-da! That's how you can see everything that you as a player have placed down. And this is the X-ray mode. This one, X-ray. So having it on, on tribe page like this will show you all that. But if you do it on every person, then you will see where they're going. Yeah. For all actions that your tribe members have, you will be able to see it in their thought bubble. All actions, all thoughts, good or bad, you can go over and just hover over the person and you will immediately be told what they're thinking and doing. Okay, let's see. At least they got uh, one log. So... Let's see if we can start getting some more huts up yet. Still only have two, but then again, we used some for some of the objects, didn't we? Because these take rope and so does, of course, also the haystack. Yeah, so we have to wait a bit. That's okay. We are on beginners. Beginners is a lot more friendly than, for instance, expert or hardcore. Okay, so let's uh, put our honey in there. Um, baskets um, are uh, have a 200% um, decay reduction rate so when you can afford it you can place high volume uh, plant pr um, animal products product and fish and stuff in storehouses because they will last longer there of course than in the the baskets the storehouses is uh, a 400 400 increase yeah it's a 400 uh, decrease in decay from open storage while the baskets of course only is 200 and of course everything from the sea is rotting fairly fast so if you have the option to use storehouses for high volume of fish for instance you, you should really do that to make it last longer especially over winter where there's so little uh, plant produce to harvest if your uh, if your farm yield fails a year it's always good to have something to fall back on that is from the wild and uh, uh, fish is a very good way of making sure that your people survive and here we have our first livestock we've got a cow it's a bull with two people and you can see that they have green on their knowledges 
plus good traits, meaning they will increase overall tribe knowledge within the knowledges they are having, which is food processing and tool smithing. And this one is okay in traits, but she has not got any better um, knowledge to offer the tribe within what she has, which is woodworking. But these we are going to take. Uh, we are now uh, able to create mills and ovens, and I will show you later what they are for. They are basically for uh, grinding the flour from wheat grains and then baking bread in the oven. What we are going to do now first is create our herder group to take care of the cow. It is a bull, so it won't be milked. <laughs> but all uh, female uh, cows will be milked every day. And depending on their size, they can give between four to five units of milk. So what we do is we basically assign the bull to the herder group. So this bull is five years old, meaning when he's roughly 10 years or so, he will be uh, are very old, meaning that the, the herders will then select him to be slaughtered. And this will happen with all animals, so when they stop producing milk, when they grow old, they will be slaughtered by your herders. So what we also need to do now is to make sure that we can feed the livestock. What we do then is that we build um, a hay feeder. And this hay feeder, we are also going to fence in to make sure that the wild herbivores does not steal the food from your livestock animals. Uh, we then need our entrance for your animals to be able to go in and out freely. Uh, all livestock are considered tribe members, so they will be free to go in and out of any gates that you place down. And then let's add some fencing so that only your livestock can enter. Uh, of course, your tribe. There you go. And then let tribe work on that. I will also uh, add our haystack there when we have more rope because I really need to get down some more housing for your people because they will start to complain because there have been many, many sleeps where some have been sleeping out by the fireplace and some have been sleeping in the pelt out, which is a lot worse. So yeah, we need to get going and get this sorted. But this one is a need. So it had to, to take whatever it took of materials to be built. Yeah. The pits can take all the plant produce and so can also the clay containers. Uh, the storehouse can take basically all food types, absolutely everything. There is no restriction. Baskets have rest uh, does not have restrictions either, but it's so much poorer in quality than both the pits and the clay containers that you should only place in the basket what you cannot place in either the pit or the clay container, and that is any, any kind of uh, produce coming from living things, bees, fish and meat. What are you lacking? You're lacking ropes. Let me see my straggler group, how many people are in it? Nine. That means I should take some time to increase people here so that they can divide themselves better on each task. Because I have 20 on ropes and I also have 30 on bone knives, which means a lot of them will be busy trying to reach this limit. Uh, how are you guys doing? You're fine. Yeah, this is good. Right, so let's have a look and see. No, I keep pressing the wrong one. Yeah, so we've already done this, sorted the storage areas. And I'm going to show you how the locking mechanism works on your storage areas and facilities. They are the same on all storage facilities and also storage areas. So when you have it on this, it means that resources can be both stored and taken away from the basket. But if you tick in this one, it means that only things will be added and nothing will be allowed to be taken out. And I'm going to show you how to do this uh, for farmers as well to make sure that the seed is saved for planting. More migrants and more livestock. And now we also get a cow. That means that now your domestic uh, livestock can get offspring. And the cow will also be 
uh, milkable you can milk her and you should every day let me see she has a small increase in hunting which we don't mind but her grades are very poor she's fairly weak and indecisive so these are grades that will cause this individual to complain a lot and to not want to work as much as everyone else and this one is fine if she has a very slight increase in weaving but a slow uh, a bit slower on the food processing but this is fine she also has a biological trait she's a very big lady sure let's accept and then we should immediately go find the cow you can find the cow both in your resources and also those who have no a herder group to be in they will be showing as wayward animals in livestock tribe main page you just double click it to find where it is and then of course you go to your herder group and assign their cow so now this cow will be milked every day and when she turns 10 plus years old she will be slaughtered for her meat just like every other domestic animal that turns old Also, there are times during the year where you will need to feed your livestock as the herbivores, the domestic herbivores, who can normally graze outside uh, until the uh, winter sets in or the temperature goes so low that the grass is not uh, covering their needs. Then you need to build, for instance, like we are doing now, to build hay feeders and place hay in it so that your um, domestic livestock can go and feed themselves from your stock you will find an icon on your tri page that says no grazing which basically means that now your livestock need help in getting food um, both the cows and the goats will feed mostly from nature because they are you know herbivores while pigs that we also have in the game will need more help but they will need to be fed uh, all year round they are omnivores and they can also eat your fruits as well as the hay so we are going to when we get pigs place down some troughs as well because they you can use these to fill with any food produce you have and what i do is that i place either pine nuts or roots or if i have too much of a resource that is a, about to decay away i place that in the feeder as well and uh most of your livestock will enjoy all of the food that you can give them uh, so you will keep an eye on to see when the no grazing starts and when that happens you need to fill your feeders so the um the feeders are now uh, fenced in so only your livestock and of course your tribe can enter them let's see um this guy has so many siblings Unfortunately, they're not all with us. Oh, no, this is an Auroch. No wonder he has so many siblings. Where are mine? Where did mine go? Let me see. You are feeding, meaning she will go and feed on whatever she can find because there is, the feeder is not ready yet. So she is probably going to go chomp on a few nuts. I'm pretty sure she will go chomp on nuts. But that's fine because we have plenty nuts. And where's the bull? The bull is wandering around. There he is, that's our bull. And he is not coupled up with the female yet, but they probably will very soon, because they are the only two in our flock. That's all we have for now, but it's a good start. We've got to start somewhere. Yeah. And these are wild deer, and we do not really want them to eat up our food. They can be hungry as well, the wild animals. And if you want to, you can feed them. I do that every now and then, I have to admit. If I have lots of hay, I let them eat some hay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to remove this tree. It's always in my way, isn't it? <laughs> Blocking my view. Okay. I need to make... Uh, I have 80. When I have 100, I'm going to make pits to store the crop seeds in because at the moment we only have three of the peas we have none of the others actually we have one of those so i'll add a small part of 
some farms and then see if we can get at least some of them sorted. So three of these, there won't be much. If I do like that, that should cover it. Um, your farms can take um, 210 cells. So there is a limit to how big you can make your farm. And then we are going to do a smaller one of these. There you go. Like that. And that's it. We have nothing else. We don't have any beets and we don't have any wheat grains. Because uh, you need two sheaves to get one wheat grain. Okay. So those can do that. And you can see that your tribe is constantly improving the uh, knowledge the tribe has. And of course, migrants will bring their knowledges with them as well. So there are several ways to to get knowledges increased and to get more objects as you go through the centuries. Right, so now we have livestock and we are on our way sorting so that they can be taken well care of. At the moment they are eating from whatever we have left out in the open because our feeder is not done. But we have enough food for them so we just need to, to create this one and then we are good. Uh, fine stick is the issue and I placed it on I'm going to do, make it uh, higher so that we always have a good surplus. We have plenty of the gatherers here that has no other task. So let's do that. And also winter we should add a little bit more fishermen. The hunters can stay. And I would also like to grant them some um, dryers. Uh, I'm going to pause these however until there's nothing left to build in the tribe because now they're getting really busy also with the farmlands so we must not overdo the tasks we are giving them because something will suffer so let's just see how they're doing here uh, also with regards to your farms you should really fence them in for to avoid the herbivores um, trampling all over them so I'm going to do that as well but I can't do it right now I need to prioritize to get food up for our livestock Yeah, sure. You can also get food for livestock. So let's do that. So these pine cones, when you are fairly south in Europe, you can find the pine nuts from the pine trees. The further north you come, the less likely you are to get these pines because they thrive more in the hot southern weather. So most areas have a different amounts of food type and also some areas have different types of prey. For instance, in order to get a sheep and goats, you will need some mountainous areas high up. I should probably increase the hunters to make sure that we get enough uh, pelts to maintain our structures, you can see. They already need repairs. And this guy is having fun in the nuts. It's <laughs> Oh yeah, because we are too slow getting off the hay feeder because we lack too many pine sticks. So now I have up them tremendously. So that that should uh, that should do it. Oh look that we can make primitive hazel bows. Sure. Why not? some speed so this is the pine trees they look like this and you can see people are gathering the pine nuts so they don't particularly love the pine nuts your tribe but your animals will love them and then your tribe will fill the the hay feeder with straw only lack one okay you can see they are going for the the nuts because there's <laughs> there's not much else for them to eat. Well, let them have let them have goody goodies. It's all good. See, we have plenty straw. Yeah, 
There you go. And now they will start filling it. And the capacity is 40, 40 kilos of straw. The animals do not eat that much, luckily, otherwise we would have zero straw. <laughs> so yeah, this is good. Now I can chill on the... Ta-da! There you go. And this one can go down as well and let more people focus on food because we're now in a, a month where food is uh, scarce. And you can see that now we have got milk as well because someone just milked this uh, young lady. Excellent. Oh, she's a bit small, isn't she? She's small. He's, uh, he's feeble. Ouch. That means his health is not max. Should be 100, but since he's feeble, he's only 83. So now the uh, the cows and all the cattle can go in here and feed themselves when the wild herbivores cannot. Yeah. You will get these messages when people are unhappy about sleeping in the open or lack of proper housing. So you can check their unhappy face. This woman is upset because she has no proper housing. She actually had to sleep in the open. So now it's becoming precarious that we place down a sleeping option. So what we're going to do is going to place directly down more sleeping options for them. So this one is going to just be placed right here because we have seven ropes and we only need five to build it. Um, building and repairing um, is the highest uh, priority in the in the game so they will immediately go and sort whatever you've placed down to be built so now we have three milk let me see can we make dairy stations yet to make cheese because we want to make cheese no we cannot we need to have more food processing and more woodworks that's fine we can deal with that so let's see now we have done the peas and we have done the flax and of course the herbivores are happily enjoying your farmlands because we have not placed down any fencing which we really really need to do okay so now we have one extra as soon as we have five rope i'm going to place down another one So basically the uh, the unrest of people is important to try to control if you have several things that annoys your people they will build a combination of unrest that in the end will cause them to leave your tribe so what they are upset about at the moment is only that they can't find proper housing so that is now what you need to do at the same time as you get up your farms and get them protected from the wild herbivores uh, I also now need to get down some um, pits to protect the seeds that you need for planting your crops to be protected so that your tribe does not eat them up. So let's get that done for sure. And then we just need to get fencing around all the crops. So you can see we have several types of, of herbivores coming to the uh, crops as soon as they're placed down because they want to chomp it and eat it. So these are the hunters. They have just felled our big deer. Yeah, and uh, it has quite a lot of meat, so it's going to be a feast for the tribe. And these are blackberries. They are mature, roughly late autumn-ish then you can get berries for your tribe strawberries can be found during the uh, spring and uh, your people absolutely love all the berries let me see I'm going to remove this uh, tree because it's going to be blocking my view so I'm just gonna do that so the clear task tool is um, a fairly difficult uh, to get right tool because it is basically taking everything that you encircle with it. So if you're going to use it, make sure you know what you're doing so you don't kill off your produce. Right, so this is how you're going to do with to protect the seed from the tribe. 
so that farmers can plant it. What you do is you first put the limit you want. If you only have one farm, you need between 15 and 20 seeds at max. So place it to 18 and then make sure that you are locking it so that nobody else but the farmers can take the seeds from the storage. And then we're going to do the next crop, which is also peas. We're going to do the same on this one. And when these two are done, we're going to do the same for those, also for wheat and for flax. Then you can leave them as is and not worry about them anymore because if you have max priority on these storages, they will always be filled first by your tribe. So you will always have a steady income of seed for every new harvest or every new planting season. So, yeah, so that is the beets and the peas sorted. They will be saved. Let me see. I want to see if the... Uh, Animals have paired up yet? They have not. Why not? Why not? She might. Oh, look! Now she's ready to be milked. And I'm going to see um, the herder going when work hours start to milk her. So where's that cow? She can't be too far. Let's use the X-ray mode to see where she is. Oh, she was there, but she's there now. So you need to change your direction, dude. Yeah. Getting closer. Go, go. <laughs> there you go. There you got her. And now he will milk her. And she will stand very still and be very, very, very obedient. See? The bull is checking. What the heck is going on here? What are you doing, human? <laughs> I'm not sure he likes that. He's just watching you. It's a little bit scary, actually. You shouldn't mess around with balls. Seriously, look at him. It looks like he's threatening. <laughs> he's looking worried. What's him? He's worried. <laughs> I would be worried too. Oh, dude. So she's um giving. Is it four milk? Three milk because she's not. Uh... So because she's small, so the size. Of course, we'll go down on the pints so she can give, or the units. Yeah. Okay, the, the bull the bull uh, decided to leave the human alone. That was a little bit threatening there, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, we have more migrants. See, okay. She's an elder lady with no animals, but she has increased for the tribe. You can see the green in both toolsmithing and hunting. So we are going to take her, even though she's a bit old. Okay, so now we have done the milking on her, and then he will go uh, store the milk. Right, sure. Can do. Okay, so that's another pit. You can just click it as well to get to the pit, and it will show you. So we're going to place the flax seed on here, and of course, lock it. Nobody will take out anything that has a lock on it. If it is locked, then nobody will touch it unless they're going to use it to farm as the only time um, extraction is allowed. Look at the horses. Oh, look at that one. It's so cute. Oh, it's tiny. Right. So now that uh, these are basically sorted, we need to get a bit more sticks and then we're going to add more of the fencing around the farmlands. Let me see. I'm going to open up for the um, stone workers and the stone gatherers as well. So now we have seven of those and that that means we need to get more huts down for your people. Let's do it. When we get to better housing, I will remove a fairly big part of the lesser huts so that uh, the tribe only has the best huts to to sleep in. Okay, can do. Just let them work a bit on, okay, another pit. And that one is, of course, wheat. And I'm going to save a bit more of the wheat because we want quite a bit wheat because wheat, when you thresh the stalks, also grants you straw. So you get both the wheat grains to grind for flour and then make bread, but you also get the straw to uh, repair and build housing and also to feed your livestock. So the smart move to do is to have extra farmlands with wheat. So here goes. 
Look at them sitting on the stones. That's so nice. Chilling out in the evening. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to wait a bit with those. Let um, me see. What does it look like? No, we need to get the uh, the fish one going. You can see the decay is quite high. How many do I have on them? I have two. Yeah, I can chill that down to avoid wasting too much. Luckily, people are so fond of fresh food that they go directly for the uh, raw fish. Just uh, fry them directly on the on the fire pit, I think, on the fireplaces. We have more. Yeah, he has increased the stone working. It's a bit slower though on food processing, but that's fine. He has a intellect uh, reducing trait. Slow, that's fine, that's fine. And she, yeah, no, she's good. She's just completely normal have nothing she's very young so yeah let's get him oh look we can now create bye faces and that is a good thing to have for cutting they are very good for cutting so we can have a few of those as well so nice yeah oh look at all the look at all the pine nuts we need to get uh, a feeder going a trough going so that the uh, animals can can enjoy some of this I'm gonna uh, place um, where should I put it I need to give space as well to them there you go I have a feeder trough and I'm going to add another haystack there you go Right, so how much uh, did we place the, the hay gatherers on or the straw gatherers on? Not you, you, but you. No? Where are they? Oh, is it those? 250. Okay, you can do 600. And you can get one more person. There you go. Uh, I can chill on that. Oh, actually, no, they have a bit to do. Okay. Need you to cover. Okay, I'm gonna do the meat on those. Right, and then we're gonna do the other one with fish. Because when they are dried in the on the dryers, they last a lot longer. Are you guys unhappy sleeping out in the open? Yeah, you're not particularly fond of that, are you? You're not hungry. You just ate. Sometimes they forget to eat in the evening because they're so tired. They just go straight to sleep and then they woke up wake up hungry and grumpy in the morning yeah nothing new more migrants oh yes and another cow why they're so old she's also old look at her she's nine she has one more year left before she gets slaughtered come on ah he's good yeah she has increased in um in architecture that means we could ta-da get proper huts big straw huts is what i'm going to make uh, big uh, reed huts also are same um unrest appeasement as the big straw huts but they are so much more expensive to build compared to the straw huts so straw huts it is let's go get the last cow the new one she has um she's big she's very big and she has a, a fitness increase by 40 oh my goodness I don't think I want to slaughter her, but I have to, don't I? Because she can't get uh, kids after she's 10 years old and she also cannot be milked after 10 years old. So yeah, it is what it is. Let's see if these two have coupled up though. No, they have not. But yeah, it's the starter stock. There are not many, there will be more. Okay, so now we're going to need 10 of the ropes and 200 of the straw to build a big straw hut, but we are going to do it. Okay, this one is definitely going to have pine nuts. As soon as we get pigs, they will enjoy that a lot. Right, um, so we have 60 sticks. So I would like to place down... No, that's too close to the fence. It won't be repaired because it can't reach to it. So don't place things too close to each other because they need space to go behind and to the side to repair them. This is where we'll put the, uh, the pine nuts to store them. Yep. Right, 
Right. Six. Four more to go before we can get enough rubs to make big straw huts. And this one is fish. There you go. How many do I have there? One fisherman, two hunters. Yeah, I can probably up the fishes one more. Yes, I am building houses. Sorry. Oh, and it has two bad grades as well. Ain't happy about that at all. And she is just giving birth. That's nice. You can see the uh, the portrait of the baby, or there's a baby symbol on her portrait, meaning that she'll be carrying the child around until it's roughly two years old, and then it will be let loose in the tribe. And you will then also find it in the uh, citizen tab. But for now, you will only see that it's linked to the mother's chest in a sling, and uh, that's how she will carry it. Yep. Well, see, this is the prayer effect. You can see the green, it says prayer, minus six. So out of those points that is unrest, the plus red ones, you have minus six, which is because he took the time to go pray to the offerings. Uh, we will create better offerings or better prayer options as we go along because you can see we can already build a small temple menu here which grants 60% praying instead of just 30 and we should also now start to consider building graves because that is going to be a plus needing when people go old see how many old do we have at the moment we have 10 of course they don't won't all die in, in this, at the same time so we can just build as as we go along let me see yeah these guys are so fed up sleeping in the open now so i definitely need to get more housing nine i can start building a big one i would have it fairly close but not too close because i am going to build the long houses close long houses and round houses or the long houses can basically be a bit further away but i will take away some of the lesser ones so that they will go in the long house so the the housing choosing of people it will be first of all the vicinity and then of course it will be quality so if you have these two next to each other they will first go to this one even though even if that one had been further in front so people will uh, mostly end their days sitting around the fireplace with family and then go directly to bed and whatever you want them to sleep in first, you should uh, try to play place closer. Okay, so you are going to have the pine nuts. There you go. Oh, we can create frame spears. No, not you. you. Let's do a few frame spears. I also would like to do a few hazel bows. Don't need much. I'm not going to create big reed huts because there's no need because the uh, big reed hut will grant enough um, appeasement to avoid a lot of the unrest. They are plus five and these are then plus 18 which is quite a bit better but as long as we can manage with just these we should go for that. You can of course place down whatever you like as long as your people are happy. But now we can also see the round house and that is a 30% increase in happiness so yep so and this one needs uh, 1500 stones as soon as we have that I'm going to place it down but I'm going to let the the stone gathering group get what was that the stone gathering group is the other ones that's going to build it instead of the entire tribe doing it oh a first take yeah let's take them let's see all red sure that's young you can learn he she yeah this is good he has two of them improved both the weaving and the leather working will be improved so i'll take those and now we can create some decorative items we can create sets of baskets okay so i'm going to go find that pig and add it to my herder group and the pig is already going to feed it's probably going to chomp on the nuts i'm sure of it chomp on the uh <laughs> pine nuts now what we are going to do, we are going to place it with the herders, if I can find it again. Crikey. Where are you? There you are. Ta-da! Is this a very small 
It's more picky. So small, didn't he? Or maybe not. He's gonna go feed. I'm gonna follow him and see where he goes. How far away is my tribe? Not that far. Come on, piggy. Go get your hazelnuts, not the hazelnuts, but your pine nuts. Maybe we'll go to the hay. Maybe you would like the hay today. Hey, hey. Oh, you went to the hay. Okay. Okay. Oh, we need some log storage. Just because the logs are just being chopped around everywhere. We can place a few around here. We can maybe have some over here as well. There you go. We can have a bit here and a bit there instead of just placed around the fire camp, fireplace. Uh, what else is there? No, that's it. It's on the locks that doesn't have an address. So how are the rest of our animals doing? You have milk? Oh, you coupled up? But you better hurry up getting kids then. Oh, she's old. She's going to be slaughtered today. See? Oh, she's very old. Uh, the log stores are ready. And our first grave is completed. That means when the first old person dies, we will be able to bury them. If you do not have a grave when people die, the relatives will be really upset. And the longer time it goes before you bury them, the higher their unrest will be. Oh, he has a lot of good things, this guy. He's a bit weak, but that is absolutely fine. Yeah, she's good as well. She doesn't have any improvements to her skill that she can offer try, but I will take them both. Okay, so now we have one. How much do we have? We have 280, but only three, three um, of the rope. So we have to wait a little bit. And this cow is uh, marked for slaughter. So they slaughter the cow and then they take the meat and the meat is 90 so it's quite a, a fair amount and it also has a three raw hide and of course it will have bones as well i think it has like i think it's 10 bones or is it more i can't quite recall but uh, yeah this is good why are they so slow on the tanning Maybe my, my tribe is too busy. No, they're good. Look, now my tribe leader has put restrictions on absolutely everything because she's going, she's so old now. She's 71. You can see her fitness is going down and down because she's so old. She's gonna die soon because she's very old. But she's been a good leader, hasn't she? Been a good leader. People like milk as well, they're quite fond of milk. Let's see, 112, and now it's time to get some protection around your farms and also to continue building the farms. So let's just pause the game while we're working so we don't lose time. So for instance, this one can be, com oops, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. This one can be completed. I'm going to remove that there and then grant it again, that one. And this one here can also be completed. With flax. And of course we're going to do 
beets and also wheat. Wheat only has one, so they are not going to get a full one. But beets. Let's see, I think we can cover all the beets. Oh, it's a bit too many cells, but that's fine. You can only build 210 cells per farm, so whichever shape you want it in, that's all up to you. Or the... Uh, that's the wheat. I'm just going to make a very small one. What kind of tree is that? Oh, it's something I don't... That doesn't give food, so it's all good. There you go. So, uh, tribe is now going to be really busy with these. But we have food. We have plenty of food. So we don't have to worry about that. And they are intermittently sleeping in the big... Uh, the big uh, straw hut, so I don't think anyone will actually leave unless they have to sleep in the open, which I don't think they do. But you can quickly see how much you are lacking in housing by going to information panel. The information panel will show you everything that is uh, bad or going bad or even neutral and good with your tribe. Oh, there we lost her. She fell asleep during the night and she will be buried in the morning. Where is she? I think that's her. Oh, she fell asleep. Where is she? Oh, they are burying her already. They're so quick. Look, there you go. There she is. In the grave. She became 72. She was a really good leader, wasn't she? Right, more migrants. You have good grades. You're not strong in weaving, but you do have some skills. And this guy, yeah, he has improvement in both leatherworking and agriculture, but he has some issues with his uh, attitude. But uh, he is uh, robust, he's strong, and he's also quite smart. Sure. I'll take you guys, that's fine. So now we have 56. What we should do now to avoid that the entire tribe is focus on all the farms. We should, we should assign a farmer group to each farmland. Oh, I've already done you. So if you have roughly between four, six, perhaps eight per farm on fast, you should be fairly well covered. It also depends a little bit on how well your workers are doing, how well your farm is doing with regards to to their, their skills and also their insight into agriculture and of course also their grades. So you could be really unlucky and have a, a majority a tribe with a lot of poor grades. So instead they are doing very poorly and are working slowly and are wasting a lot of seeds. So um, And this will of course improve as your tribe grows older and uh, people learn more things because as they are working with everything that has a knowledge attached to it, they will increase their knowledge and also discover more knowledges within this type of work. For instance, this guy is now working within agriculture, so this means that he will soon uh, acquire the rudimentary skills in agriculture and it will show in his uh, knowledge page. This here, she will also develop agriculture as she works with the land and they will all improve based on what they're working with. Yeah, so this is good. So now I have stolen a lot of workforce to the farms. So this means that some areas will be low. And you can see that the straggler group, which has the lowest priority, has no workers in it. But I'm not too worried because we have two fishermen and we also have two hunters. So there will be a steady stream of food. Plus we also have a lot of pine nuts. We have a milk. We also have quite a bit of hazelnuts and the odd other things. We have dried meat as well. So I am not worried about that. But you need to keep an eye on your food resources at all times because it can suddenly go really, really south. How are you guys doing with your tanning? They are slow on tanning, I have to admit. So, but we have quite a few of these uh, tanners, so we should be all right. Stone sickles are always a good idea to build because then your people will crop a lot faster. It makes your your uh, farmers very, or gatherers for that matter, very efficient. The thing with um, the stone sickles is that they need bifaces and bifaces need flint cores. And flint cores are a scarce resource. So if you can avoid it, do not harvest too many at the same time. 
of the flint cores and also don't overbuild things. People can easily um, rotate on who takes the stone sickles and who takes the st bone knives because they have the, the both the same tasks but the, of course the uh, stone sickle have one and it's 100% compared to 50% on bone knives so yeah if you can afford it have as many stone sickles as you can but if you go out then your efficiency will be severely hampered just be aware of that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place um, fencing around the farmland I'm going to and out there so these are going to be built first we have plenty of fine sticks so that is not an issue there you go okay so now I'm just gonna wait till they've built these two gates because you always need to build gates if you're going to build fencing so that your tribe can go in and out as they see fit I'm just gonna wait till they are built before I do anything else because I have already stolen a lot of people to clear the farmlands so, yeah, <clears throat> need to try to not steal everyone in this at the same time. Let's see what else we can get from the tutorial. Yeah, this is the one I've already shown you how to uh, make sure that your seeds are saved. And this is, yeah, I've already talked about the uh, clear task. Just a small reminder that uh, whatever you take this one and lasso in with will be chopped down, cut down, gathered, everything. So uh, some people I've seen use it on c getting reed from the riverside or fiber from the riverside. Don't really recommend to do that because uh, this tool will also kill off the young plants and the sproutlings. So like I said before, if you don't know what you're doing, please don't, don't do it. You're kind of shooting yourself in the foot right another tip you need proper tools in order to chop trees yes we know we need access to chop the actual trees so that's fine let's go next right uh, i'm going to show you quickly how you can assign and reassign um, items to the tribe or to a specific group as it is at the moment when you click assign everything that is white belongs to the group you have selected in this case the group i have selected is the tribe so everything i have built is within tribe except the farmlands the farmlands belong to the farmers i'm going to do one and you can see this uh, farm group has responsibility for this one so now i'm going to show you how you can um, swap around assignments let's just do the wood choppers group they have nothing so we are going to give them the fireplace and now you can see that when you do this the fireplace lights up with white meaning that this group has responsibility for the farmland and for the fireplace and you will also find it in their building uh, tab and if you want to assign it back to tribe you simply highlight the tribe page and then you click it and poof it is again back to tribe responsibility that's basically it you can assign and reassign as much as you like and you can assign absolutely everything to whoever you see fit yeah yes i am working on building the houses chill chill ladies go do some praying you're all good yeah i'm going a bit arrogant here now to my poor tribe who's been sleeping out for quite a while <laughs> two years they've been sleeping out for two years it's no wonder they are yelling okay let's see about these migrants uh two ladies sure oh they, they she has good grades and all three are good upgrades to the current knowledge in the tribe this is good she has plenty green yeah even this one is good and she's also big very big i will definitely take these ladies and we can now create storehouses yeah so storehouses i will only build when i have large volumes of something that need extra storage place space because the storehouse can, like I said before, take 300 kilos. That's quite a bit. So it's suitable for your farm crops uh, when your tribe is larger. Right, let's uh, go further on the tutorial. Uh, yep, the fencing. I'm going to show you guys that as soon as they have built these two, then we are going to go over the fencing. I'm going to explain how you can 
connect them, how you can see the different colors, what they mean, and also um, the different types of fencing that you can do. You are um, depending on uh, timeline and skills in some knowledges to get all of them. The one you will get last is of course the palisades. They are huge and you will need a fairly high percentage of woodworking in order to be able to build them. So what we are going to do, we're going to choose the um, low cost fence. Um, the more fencing you need, the more of the low cost you should go through because otherwise you will steal so much people to do large fencing areas that you will uh, suffer on other areas of the tribe. For instance, uh, I can use uh, stone walls around a graveyard, for instance, or around parts of the camp, but not absolutely everything because it will first of all cost a lot of stones and then it will take a very long time to build. While the uh, low budget uh, fencing is quick to build and only takes sticks, which you basically have everywhere. And it's only four of them, so it's not going to be anything that will bankrupt us. Right, so let's see how much uh, sticks do we have. We have 140 plus. Let's, uh, let's start with building parts of the fence. Because remember, for each section of fence you are building, placing down. The tribe will release people from their normal work groups to go and tend to whatever you have ordered to be built. So the green is uh, that nothing is hindering this uh, fence to be placed. Yellow is when you hit a gate that they are connected. When you then double click with left mouse button, you are placing everything down to be built. Uh, let me see if we if we um, go a little bit out you can see as soon as it turns red on one area it means that even if you place down the fence now it will not be built because there is no connection but if you go right before it you will see now we have connections now we can build it but i'm going to wait until these have been built because i have placed down quite a bit of fencing sections so it will take quite a few people to do but we have food so i'm not worried so we can be a little bit luxurious and uh, I can put up the labor age again because my previous leader of course died and now the next one is allowing me to have a higher work age for my people. Rationing you should be really really careful with and only ration when it's highly highly do or die um, famine specifically. Um, if you consider that this is 100%, six notches is 100%, that means that each notch is roughly 16% that you take away from their ration. So if you're rationing like this, they get roughly 84% 80, of the food that they really should have had. So try to not do that too much. Um, children need uh, full meals to grow their fitness until they're adult while elders also need full meals so they shan't lose their fitness too much when they're growing old. Because they can work up until they're, um, I think it's 70-ish um, before they stop working. So you need to take a bit care of your workforce. Let me see, yeah, let's do this. She is red on both and she has some good grades and also some bad, but nothing that we can't work with. Sure, sure. We're not all the same. We are who we are. Okay, so am I getting enough? Uh, I'm just going to close this down. Okay, that's fine. We got the, quite a bit, didn't we? Quite a bit uh, sewn. And this one is... Uh, yeah, it, only a few were done of this, as far as I can see. And this one is half done. And yeah, uh, yeah, this one needs to be cleared properly first. But this is fine, we're getting more and more of the crop seeds and in the end we will have enough to, to plant fully all four. So that's fine, that's all good. Okay, so now we don't have the no grazing symbol, meaning that now your cows and your goats, we don't have goats, but our cows, will go out and graze in nature because now the grass is nice and green. So they will be everywhere else uh, feeding themselves. They do not need us to feed them. Pigs, however, you must feed the year round. So just remember to always have something for your pigs because my pig, my poor pig, can only eat what we are giving it. And now I only have one cow left because the other one got old as well. 
and got slaughtered. So now the bull is uh, lonely because his uh, partner got turned into sausages. Sounds horrible, doesn't it? <laughs> but there you go. Okay, so some of these people have bad grades within either fitness or will, causing them to not managing or wanting to to work as long hours as the normal people. The default labor time is the middle one, and for everyone, it is supposed to be neutral. But if you have uh, some bad grades, you could be affected on normal default work hours as well. But those who have no bad grades, they will not be affected in the slightest. For them, it's completely normal and all is fine and dandy. It is uh, not all of the gra grades that are bad that will be affected. For instance, you're not affected if you're clumsy, but you are affected if you are weak, most definitely. So this is a cow skeleton, and it has a hand on it, meaning it has been uh, gathered, uh, targeted by the system for people to gather. Let's see how many skeletons. Uh, I think it's 10, yeah, and here they are, picking up the, the, the bones. The bones can also be eaten by your people, or not the bones themselves, but the bone marrow inside. So what people do is, when they want the bone marrow, they just go uh, get a piece of, of a bone and just crack it open and then just scoop out the bone marrow. It's extremely nutritious, but not very popular with your people, so they will only eat it if there's little else to choose between. So they do love all fresh foods and also bread and, and of course cheese and milk. So uh, meat and fish is very, very popular and also of course honey. Yeah. So how are we doing with the fencing here? We are getting there. Yeah, that's good. So that means that that fencing is done and now we have so few sticks that we wait till they've gathered more before I complete it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to remove these two because one was targeted and the other one was not, which is a bit odd. But there you go. It depends on the size as well. So, uh, yeah, I put the straw on 600. That should be fine. That should be fine. Um, covering animals and, of course, uh, the building of huts. So now I have 15 ropes and over f almost 600 of the straw. So now I will add another of the, the big straw huts. There you go. So let's see if they manage to catch up with the leather they have. So now all the leather huts are also ready and can take people to sleep in them, although they're not popular. Also, as time goes by and you get better and better options to build, those who used to be like this one was um, can be uh, 30 plus in appeasement if that's the only thing showing of these two but as soon as you have more these will be lower in value they will be lower and lower in value yeah that is important to remember so what was once good like these could have been good at once one point in time but now they are minus 20. When people know there is better, they can see that other tribes might have Neolithic Roundhouse. They want it to, even though they can't build it, they would want it anyway. So your tribe is getting more and more entitled the longer into modern times you're coming. They want better and better all the time. Let me see. 30? Yeah, I'm going to wait longer. But now it's almost time to start harvesting the beets. If you hover over the, uh, the crops, you will see what time they should be planted and when they will be harvested. So this one is to be planted in early spring and it will, of course, then be harvested in early summer. So you will always know when to harvest, when to till and when to plant. Tilling starts a month or so, uh, perhaps a few weeks only, before uh, planting starts. And sometimes I do both at the same time. Just, you just need to have enough people to cover an entire farm. If you can't, then just place as many as you can afford and let them do as much as they can. Whatever is left is left. It's all there is to it. Look at the flax, how pretty they are with the flowers. That is so beautiful, isn't it? Oh, oops. And then they are getting into the flax kernels. Sure. Yeah. This is good. 
see what are you lacking. Is it fine sticks? No, it's sticks at all. Yeah, because we stole all the sticks, didn't we? To build defenses. <laughs> Let me see how many is lacking housing now. 63%. That's quite a bit. That's why it's red, because over half your tribe is without a proper uh, sleeping arrangement. And again, it will be the, um, the people with poor grades who are complaining of the overwork. But uh, basically, the majority of the tribe is happy, so I'm quite okay with that. I would not lower work hours for people who has either fitness or will reducting, reducing grades. They will complain no matter what you do, so just leave the work hours on default if, you, if, it, if it's troublesome to do it differently. You can lower if you like, if you're overproducing, or you can also lower the work age, so perhaps those who are complaining are not in the work age you have picked out. That is an option as well. Just play around a bit and experiment and see what your tribe is reacting to and how they are reacting. So that's completely fine. Okay, now these need repair, so they will take sticks as well. Okay, so I need to wait even longer before I can complete my uh, my fencing. That's fine, we will do it in the end. I'm not worried in the slightest. Yeah, so now they are starting to become mature enough to be picked. Yeah, beets ahoy. Lumber mills, large benches. I would like a few medium benches, to be honest. How much wood do we have? We have 29. 29. That means we can get away with having a few benches that the older generation sit on while they are around the fireplace discussing the new ways to figure out better housing, Improving knowledges, sharing their life experiences, etc. etc. And the young ones are sitting around listening intently, learning and learning via mouth. From mouth to ear, this is good, just like it used to be. How much does that one have? Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. So now we are also getting the the beads ahoy hoo hoo. I love the color of them. They, they look really real, don't they? It's a little bit creepy how real they are. I can't get over it, how real they look. Oh, now we can create altars as well. And men here's. But we're not going to focus on that yet. I'm going to wait till you have more stone. Then I'm going to assign the religious structure building to this group. So that not the entire tribe is running their butts off to put stones to the men here's or the temples you need to make sure that you you don't uh, build your tribe to death because you can easily do that if you don't assign things or make sure that not everyone is dropping everything to go do your bidding just keep that in mind see now they're sitting on the benches yeah <laughs> i like that <laughs> we still have quite a few sleeping out in the open yeah they they don't love it not at all. You're only hungry because you didn't eat enough when you went to bed. So go eat and you'll be fine. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. And we have, how many sticks do we have? Two. Okay, because they're probably still repairing these. No, they're done. Okay, then we just need to wait for more to come in and then we can build the rest of the fence. Okay, how are we doing with the sticks? Where are the sticks? Hmm? Oh, ten sticks. Okay, yeah, we have to wait. Actually, I'm going to um, increase the stickers. Okay, that's not you. I can you can get more as well. You guys go get more sticks. Go. Go. You guys are a little bit useless, so I think I will have them gathering something else. How are we doing with the nuts? We have oh my goodness, look at the pine nuts. We have so many pine nuts. Come on pigs, you need to eat your pine nuts. Crikey. What we should do though when it's like that is that we basically put on limits yeah 
gotta be done because some of these are going to be wasted that's just the way it is when you play like this you waste don't don't do like lily do as i say not as i do yeah everyone can hear i'm a parent well then okay so what should you guys get what are we lacking we are not really lacking anything oh i only have one cattle left it's the poor bull and one pig let's hope there will be more incoming um doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. i could let them um do some of these we don't need those, but someone will have to gather whatever is growing wild. You guys can easily go up to six. You can go to three. So this is something you have to do as your tribe grows. You need to adjust your groups with the work, work spots and also what they're going to get. And you need to pay attention to what is being overproduced, what is going to waste, and then reduce the income. If you wish to stay long term, same locality, this is how you should do it. Whatever you leave to not be harvested in the wild of fruits and stuff could reseed and you could get more bushes and trees with the fruits as the years go by. Hello. Oh gosh, you had very little inside for being 28. But you don't have any bad grades as such, so I will take you. Yeah. Right, so how many leather we have? We have four leathers. I would like to place down a few more treasures to get more thingies done. And uh, as soon as we have a good surplus of wheat grains, I am going to place down <clears throat> a mill for grinding the uh, wheat grains into flour and then an oven to bake it into bread. Your people love bread and wheat is very economical. If you have four sheaves of wheat, then you get ten bread out of that. So yeah, it's, it's a good investment. Right, so... Um, oh, I'm so sorry, I am working on it. You know what I'm going to do while I wait? I'm just going to be a bit smart. And add more big fireplaces, then they don't have to sleep in the open. Yeah, that's at least... Uh, that sorted. We have plenty stones, we have plenty logs, so go for it. And they will only accept my shenanigans for a, for a certain amount of time before they start leaving, so I need to really get up stuff. I'm way too slow, look at her with all her bad grades. Hmm, she has several things she's unhappy about. She's hungry. Well, go eat then. It's not like there's no food. But she does like the food, which is uh, minus three on unrest. And she has been doing some praying. So it's minus seven. <laughs> now I'm just... Uh, okay, she's no longer hungry. But she's praying. That's good. And she have hope in the gods. That's good. <laughs> so this is how you appease a lot of your unrest. You need to make sure that you have comfort for your people. But it's difficult to balance right uh, the um, the building, the farming, the livestock. Everything needs consideration. And now we can create Neolithic roundhouses. So now people are going to be unhappy with absolutely everything you build except Neolithic roundhouses. So we need to do something. Each Neolithic roundhouse takes 750 mud. So let's do it. Let them gather. So now these are the last I will build of uh, pure straw huts. Now we're going to focus on the big boys, the Neolithic, because they are plus 30 appeasement. Yeah, will do, will do. And I will, of course, take down these because these now are very, very bad. Minus seven, not very bad, bad but bad, bad, bad. Oh, we're lacking graves. Oops can't have that need to keep graves up to date otherwise oh my word they get so annoyed with you if you don't respect that they need to bury their elders or their dead relatives will throw a hissy fit seriously I'm not even kidding <laughs> need to have graves in the Mesolithic you can just dig a normal hole in the ground while in Neolithic you're not getting away with just that you need to have around the grave and on the grave to protect from the environment 
and also from wild animals just digging up the corpses. Because that could happen. It happened before and it will continue to happen. Oh, more. Oh, another pig. Yay, another pig. Oh, you're bad. Oh, you're bad. Oh, that is the worst grade of the will reduction. He's apath apathetic. I mean, seriously, he couldn't be any worse. Look at that. Minus 68. But I want your pig. I don't like you, but I like your pet, okay? <laughs> it's a tiny pig. It's a baby pig. Look at him. He's so tiny. Right. Let's get him into the um, gather group. The gather group. To the group. A female. What what gender is that? It's a male. Maybe they will get babies. Oh, and they're both nine years old. So they have one more year left before they grow old and can't produce offspring. We've been a little bit unlucky with the age on our animals, haven't we? We had two that were nine-year-old, and now we've got another one. Hmm. <laughs> okay, sticks 86. Okay, let's wait a little bit longer. Waiting and waiting. Okay, so we chilled on the pine nuts, thank goodness. They were like 300 plus. Way too much. Oh yeah, you need a grave. I'm so sorry. We are working on it. Let me see his relatives. Oh, he doesn't have any relatives. Oh, thank goodness. That's more luck than we actually deserve, to be honest. We should never forget to add graves. Ever. Crikey, that could have been bad. The thing is, with, with people leaving the tribe when they are really angry, if they have relatives, these relatives will be affected about others leaving the tribe that is in their family. And it could have a really bad collateral effect that one of them has left because they don't want to be without their family they don't want to be without their relative so some of them actually want to follow the relative that left in the end you can lose an entire flipping family and the extended family because you have lost one tribe member so you need to be really vigilant in not losing people i mean it's almost impossible to please everyone so you have to rely that you will lose some, 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 sometimes, and if you're really lucky, you don't really lose a lot. But if you play hardcore, you are basically effed if you start losing people, because their family will follow. No good, no good. But you can avoid it by playing it right and not messing up, like I do, like I just did. You are completely fine. Because the game is not impossible, it's just intermittently really difficult to achieve any high success, especially on hardcore. Hardcore is a nightmare. So if you are new to the game, please start in beginners, otherwise you will be so frustrated having your ass handed to you on hardcore. Just, just wait till you know a bit more. Nothing tastes better than success. And also nothing hurts more than failure. Especially if you think you rock at it and then you realize I do not rock at it. I need to go back to the start and learn to play the game. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. We need to leave space for failure as well. We need to learn. Okay, so how much uh, do I have of the mud? 281, yeah. Okay, the good thing about those who are gathering mud is that they are gathering a huge amount at the same time. They don't come home with only one or two lumps of mud. They come home with like 30 plus. Seriously, they come home with a lot of mud. We have a look. 139. I think it's time to place down some fencing because now they are planting again. So I'm going to steal some people to do this. Uh, okay, need to go a little bit around here because there were some stones in the way. There you go. There's yellow there. That means they have connection. Ta-da! Now, that should be done fairly quickly. Are you serious? Is there another? Stop dying. Seriously, guys, stop dying. Because this one will be filled as well now, I think. No, it only needed... Okay, so we lacked one, two, three graves. So now we're building three more. But we have... Look at all the elder people we have. We need to build more. And we also have no grazing, meaning that now we need to remember to fill our feeders and stuff. So yeah, that's for the pigs. Pigs can also have this, and uh, these are eating now. Yeah. 
Oh, they coupled up. Now I just want them to have babies. Please have babies. So this can happen that your migrants do not bring enough livestock with them and you can have a starter stock and if they don't get offspring then they will die out of course and then you just have to wait for more offspring from or offspring more uh, livestock from your migrants they will come with fairly regular interval look at them improving knowledge what have you improved oh yeah Agriculture is 43 there, and it's 43 there. She improved agriculture. That's nice. Look, she has a baby. Her will is increased. Yeah, you need to be very strong to be a mom. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Oh, what is your issue now? Yeah, I know. Well, at least it's just a fireplace, not in the bleeding open. It could have been 50 on lack of proper housing instead of just a, a pelt hut or the fireplace. But of course he has two of the bad grades, the really bad ones. So yeah, he will complain. It is what it is. Let's hope you have more livestock. No, you didn't, but that's fine. Let me see. He's okay. Is he a giant? No, he's just very big. I'll take you. I don't mind. Uh, 467. Okay. I think. Let me see. So this is plus five. Actually, it is better than a kick in the teeth. I'm going to add a few of these more um, while we wait to get enough um, clay or mud to build the uh, storehouses. No. The round houses, not storehouses. You can't put people in storehouses. See, there's no space for them. <laughs> Let's store humans in storehouses. Look at that. The store is 400% is increased from uh, a re decay reduction from open storages. Does that mean that humans also will age 400% uh, slower? Yeah? Any smart minds out there can tell me? <laughs> if this is how it works? No? <laughs> oh, dude. Well, you never know until you've tried. <laughs> Come on, get it done so people stop complaining so much. It's annoying that they keep complaining, but you know, when you're slow, you're slow. It is what it is. For me, it was more important to, to get everything else up as well, because they don't leave you all on the spot. How much meat is that on that one? 18. You can also um, butt in and order your tribe to... To help out so now tribe is being told to go help him out with the stripping you know that means that more than the um the hunters will go thought it so here we have some wild goats we don't have any tame ones in tribe yet but we have plenty wild ones and these are rose hips they are very nice very nutritious but yeah you have plenty uh, animals both wild and domestic in the game so there. Let me see. You still don't have any babies. Oh no, oh no. My last cattle. My last cow. Oh well. Right, now we have to wait for uh, more livestock. It is what it is. It is random what you get. It's random how much you get. Uh, the amount of migrants coming is random. No tribe is ever exactly the same. This could be a tribe that can never manage to have proper livestock because it comes so few and somehow you can't get conditions for your livestock to thrive and have babies. Happens. It happened back then. It happens now. It is what it is. And then the next tribe you build can perhaps have tons of livestock already by day th by year three in game. So it's a very individual, a very very random, and nothing is the same. So yeah.
Oh la la, we can now make a dairy station. There's not much point though, we have no animals left that can be milked. Bit late there, dude. Oh, now the pigs are going as well. Oh. Crikey. Okay. No pigs for us. No livestock for us. Now I just want someone to come with more than one. I would like to come with like four. Four animals in one go. That would be great. How are we doing with these? Okay, 35, 28. Okay, so now we can chill on those that are gathering these. I'll just do those two and this one. There you go. How are we doing with the struggle group? The struggle group is absolutely full. Okay. Let's see. Where are my... Okay, you're there. You don't need more. No, you're good. Um, whatever is not working, they will not be affected by work hours. So if they are rotating on who's in whose group, then uh, you will have it quite all right with regards to people uh, not working all the time. You don't have to have everyone working, you know. You can leave some off have the day off oh look at this oh this is a good guy look at him 167 charisma Zoom. that's exactly what i will do put up the work age everybody should work also why I don't like to put the labor time up because uh, if I'm having everything that can walk and talk to work to work then I need to not punish them as well by having their children work till midnight that's not gonna happen you need to be careful with having everything adjusted so that you're wearing out your people but you can pro of course do it for shorter periods of time just not all the time prolonged increased work hours is never a good idea really if you are struggling, for instance, with getting all the farms planted in time, if you lack a bit of workforce, you could up the work hours for a short amount of time. But be really careful with having it prolonged. You can just test and see the limits of your tribe. You will see their fitness is reduced. For the kids, they, they grow stronger, slower, and the elder will more quickly deteriorate, deteriorate in their fitness. The one is being built as well here. Where did I put it there? That one is done. But this just needs repair. Yeah, so that also means that we have covered more sleeping spots for people. So now 53% is almost, almost 750. Ooh la la. Yeah, not long now until you have really good places to sleep. Promise, I promise, pinky promise. Now we can create the really big really big fences the palisades they are tall and sturdy as heck no kidding look look at the size of them look how big they are and the uh, the gate also is humongous so if if raiding is going to be also pointed towards us players then this is what you would have what you would want to have around your settlement seriously this one will be a joke for anyone coming to whoop your ass and steal your your resources but this one they will have to fight with yeah but it takes a lot of logs so you need to to chop wood like heck to get enough to encompass your entire settlement right i wonder if we will be able to steal livestock from those we are looting when when uh, raiding comes mm, that would be interesting oh a new pig and it's only four years old whoop de doo i want your pig i don't care what what you are i don't care about the human i want the pig actually i'll have a look at her no she's good she's good she's good right so let's give the uh her there something to do again yeah he's slaughtering the last pig this one is too old, yeah, it's gonna die. And this one, yeah. Oh, it's horrid that they are slaughtering them, but it has to be done, doesn't it? It's just just how it was. And when they were old and just a drain on your food system, they, they slaughtered them. It was just how it was, wasn't it? 
So it is authentic, no matter how little we like it, but we can make some choices ourselves. We can choose to let them live out in the wild, in the free, and just uh, strip their meat and stuff when they die from old age. We can do that. So it is up to you as a player as well how you wish to do it. I will play it the way it is intended, intended on, the way it used to be, and then you can make your own decisions about how you want to do things. For instance, uh, the hunters, I normally only hunt a few things and then leave the rest to be um, free and live out their lives. And when they die, then we will strip whatever is left of them. Yeah. So it's all up to you as a player. Nobody says you have to do exactly like this or exactly like that. Make your own way. Find your own rules and guidelines that you wish to play by. All good. Plenty ways to play. You can see those who have these bad grades are always the first ones to whinge. But um, yeah, plus 12. Look, look, she has minus 12 for praying, which is helping a lot. How much stone do we have? Almost 1300. So only 200 stones left. And then we are going to add some temples so they can get much more appeasement when praying. This is also something you need to consider for labor time because if you have labor time too high they don't get time to spend uh, the evenings or the mornings with their families and they don't have time to pray as much as they would like to meaning there will be they will be less happy so consider that as well okay this one can now be big so i'm going to uh, make it full oops why do I keep doing that? I never remember to put it back to the square. Never! Okay. There. I think I can afford to put more people to do farm work. I'll put eight, then we are fairly well covered, aren't we? Oops, oops. Really, Lily? You can't count to eight. Okay, there you go. And now they have um, eight per farm, farmland. That is a luxury, because normally a workforce is something you need to plan really well to get enough to cover everything you need. Uh, on beginners, you can get away with quite a bit of testing around as well. You're not, really? Why don't you go sleep by the fireplace? Mm. No space for you, maybe not. <laughs> oh, why is the mud going down, dude? Are you being slacking? Mud bubbles. You guys could probably do a few nuts as well, but not too much because otherwise it'll be wasted. Okay. Now we should also make uh, some more storage areas, storage facilities for the crop that is coming in in larger numbers to avoid that they are being decaying so fast. So let's see what we've got. Do we have the clay container? We do not. So what we are going to do, we are going to gather a little bit of reed. And we're going to give that task to someone else. There you go. You see, so I have one, two, three of those. Right, so don't forget also that flax um, gives you fiber when you thresh the stalks and of course the flax grains, which nobody likes to eat. So unless you really need the fiber, you don't really need to build a flax farm. I always build it. Oh, well, there you go. Clay containers. Yes, good, good. So what shall we do? Shall we build the clay containers first or shall we do the housing? We need to do the housing. But we are also going to do a lumber mill because you will need planks to build the dairy. Let me see so we can place this. I don't know where. 
over here with the workers. Does that sound like a plan? You need uh, planks for... What did I say? Did I say dairy? You don't need planks, you need log. What you do need planks for is the clay containers. We are going to build those, but we also need to prioritize housing, so I'm going to do that immediately. Because now we have 752. And this is why I didn't want to build everything so close to the fireplace, because I want everything to be taken by the best sleeping options. So, there you go. You guys are going to be plonked down close to the fireplaces. I'm going to remove that one afterwards and then place another one down there. But one step at a time, now at least we have a fenced in all our farmland so none of the wild herbivores will be coming in to enjoy the cropland unless I have forgotten a section. It could happen that we forget to put one down or if there's a tree that needs to be cut if the connection between the two fence points are not being made, then you leave an opening when you remove the tree. Let me see. Yeah, it looks okay now. Right, let's get that one built. If you struggle with building your archaeology, almost said, architecture knowledge in the tribe, you can create a, a, tr a, a, tr a group for that task specifically. I normally I have a crafter group with like six, five to six people in it and then just assign them the building project and let only those people do it and they are only a few that will learn the skills but they will learn them uh, all the time and not only intermittently so they are constantly working on it meaning they will boom, improve their skills very quickly up until the max point where tribe is and then they can discover by themselves more knowledge as they go along so this is a good idea if you want to to make sure that you you get enough knowledge on some of your people if the entire tribe of 200 should do it then none of them will really get any good knowledge because they need to work on the object in order to get increased knowledge so that is one way you can do it uh... Oh, look at that. We can make the big temple men here now and we can also make wells. Goodness me. Nothing wrong with having a well in the tribe, is there? Nothing at all. Get some good water, fresh water. Yeah, can do. Let's see what else. And this is the big one. It grants 100% appeasement. That this is really the one we should aim to build. Yeah. I think that's a good idea that's i think that's the one we should build so let's get that one done as soon as we have some more stones we don't have to build it but i would like to build it and of course now we can make the trillithons as well oh my goodness they are the big daddies of speed increase to any temple we have so if we have this one and a few of those then they will pray in three seconds and have a hundred percent appeasement yeah so if you if you are torturing your tribe like i often do with work hours unruly work hours unruly policies you can uh, appease them quite a bit with giving them the best options to pray 100 percent appeasement with 100 percent speed and go for it but it takes a lot of work it takes time to build all these yeah so just get the stones gathered get them in get them in let me see how many do i have here okay so 11 11 that means that uh, are the farmers full no they're not that means that uh, these will be emptied when the farmers go do the work that's fine that's fine that is fine and dandy how are we doing with this one now nice so now we have 200 of those that means we can build two of these clay containers I'm going to assign it to the same group. I'm actually going to rename it to Builders. There you go. Now they are done, you can tell, but they are all leaving the group. So let's get down these then. We could basically just place them where we want to. I think where people are sitting would be a good idea. 
So these will also give you architecture when you are working on them, so they can continue to build their skills. Yeah. But you don't have to do things the way I do. You don't have to do it exactly like this. Just find out what you like best yourself. We have a well but no water in it. I hope there comes water in it soon. Because that would be really cool if they went to the well and just helped themselves with the drink. Yeah. So you're an adult now. So when they're 17, they are becoming adults. And then they can also become pregnant and, and couple up and stuff like that. Okay, so keep an eye on the food. It's so quickly can go so bad, <laughs> so so quickly. Um, oh, oh yeah, look at the uh, the wheat coming up. So now all the farms have been planted completely, so they are all maxed out. Uh, I'm going to add more in a bit. I just want to see how my tribe is doing with the current four. How many people do we have? Seventy nine. We always have eighty. Oh gosh. We need to build more graves. Um, the good thing about graves is that they are recyclable. Yeah, it sounds horrendous, but you know, it is the same today. It's just that it's uh, many years between each time you do recycle. Um, here it is several hundred years, by the way, several hundred historical years before they are recycled and they can be used again. So within a small year or so, you can reuse your graves Okay, so we are going to put that one there, and this is important. Priority is going to go on neutral to make sure that your harvesters do not fill up the open containers first, because we do not want that. We want the harvesters to put it in the locked storages first to make sure that we always have seed saved for next planting season. Just keep that in mind. So if you place these on neutral or even just one below, then they will not fill up these first and they will first fill up what you have maxed out in priority and then they will go fill out everything else yeah that is important otherwise they will just fill everything and you will end up having uh, 10 storage areas with four in each and only four saved that is not a good idea okay so also when you play fast the repairs, of course, will be much more frequent. So you need to exaggerate a little bit on the materials you get into camp to make sure that you have it covered. You see, I'm going to build a new one as soon as I have enough uh, mud for another one. Okay, so as now these are, are maxed out again. These can also do other things. You can go get more stones. And what are these? No, I will leave you to it. Mud, yes. I can put this one up to 200. Uh, we have 55 of the reed. That means we can, in theory, build a storehouse. And I'm going to build a storehouse for some of the crop food there you go because it will be in large quantities this is going to be probably the uh, wheat because we are going to build several more wheat farms to get tons of bread people love bread so that is a good idea to make just let the uh, the tribe work on its own a bit leave them to it No livestock and sh really poor grades, seriously. <clears throat> Feeble and indecisive, but she is smart and she's also charismatic. But she has nothing to offer skill-wise. And this one as well is the same. She has a poor grade and not really a lot to offer, but uh, I will take them anyway. Yep. What are you guys lacking? You are lacking logs. Did I not? Okay, I'm gonna put one more on you and that is just take whatever you want. 
Come on, guys, finish up the graves, please. Oh, we have a new leader. Okay, she has uh, exactly the same as the other one had. 59, charisma 169, that's quite high. Yep. Okay then, how many do I lack now? Four, holy. They're dying like flies, what the heck? Oh, it's, it's too long before they are built. I'm going to pause this. They need to, to finish these. Come on. Can't have it like this. There's no point doing those. They will be done. Chop, chop. Get it done. Yeah, people are just not happy about having their loved ones rotting in the sun and I can completely understand that. Okay, so now there's one more there and then we just lack one. Okay, that should do it really. Phew. That's good, that's great. We didn't lose anyone, thank goodness for that. Let's open this one again to get that one done. Still lacking uh, logs I see. I'm going to make a few more uh, axes so that our um, choppers don't need to fight with everyone else to get some tools. There you go. Yep, um, where is 754? That means I will place down another one of the Neolithic roundhouses, the most popular housing, except of course the longhouse, but there's got to be a while till we can get it because it takes quite a bit of skills and we're not even seeing it yet because we're so far away from being able to build it and then poof suddenly we're going to get it so these are the decorative items you can place down and i find it uh, very nice to to beautify your uh, camp with these and also make wooden trails from one house to the next and stuff like that i quite like that yeah okay so how are we doing with food? I think I'm going to let them have a bit more fish now that winter is about to set in. And uh, let them do a little bit more hunting. Oh, goats! Male. Oh, two males. Really? But she's okay. She has improved uh, uh, tool smithing. She has good grades as well. And he has improved fishing and he has good grades. I'll take them. Ta-da! Now I would like to go find the goats. I think there were two males. Let's find my herder group. You only have one pig, don't you? The goats uh, will also need feeding during um, the times where the grass is not, not enough in the wild to feed them. Uh, and they also enjoy eating some of the other foods that your tribe likes to eat as well, such as these nuts. These nuts? Here we go again. Seriously, Lilia? <laughs> Gosh. Oh, I think that is a, a berry bush. Nice. Don't mind having a berry bush right next to where we're sitting in the evening. The luxury. Nature's uh, larder. Why not? <laughs> Why not? So these paltas really need to go. Look at the uh, service, minus 20. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of those as soon as I have covered sleeping areas for everyone. Plus five. At least they're plus five. They're going to be minus, I think, or perhaps neutral when we get longhouses. We are, of course, going to lack logs, aren't you? Yep, that's exactly what I thought. I'm going to uh, exaggerate. Give them four. Don't, don't and give these some higher uh, numbers as well so people have enough to work with much more efficient when they have tools to help them out so now we have the beads are done so you can see they are filled up there but of course they are first filled up here yeah and then they went to this place see this is good Mm 
So these are both fighting to get uh, logs now. What are you lacking? Yeah, you need another five. I'm going to pause you. I'm sorry. You're going to have to be paused because you're not more precarious than housing. This one is more precarious, so this one is going to get priority now. So when the uh, hammer shows blue, it ne means that it, it needs to be maintained, but you can still sleep in it until it turns yellow. Then you cannot sleep in it anymore. It normally is like only half a day or so before the water starts leaking in through the roof and then you need to to repair it, otherwise people can't sleep in it. Yeah, and now the wheat is coming in as well. That is good. It is. Let them finish this one in peace. Okay, at least they're getting uh, logs at all, so that's good. So now it's yellow, so now it's less than half the population that lacks a proper place to sleep. So we are slowly but surely getting there. Okay, so yeah, so you see some of these have been opened up because. Uh, the corpses have decomposed completely. You can see they are decomposing and decomposing. But when they reach zero, then the grave is recyclable. I don't, I don't worry too much about uh, the bowl showing whether it's yellow or blue, because often, more often than not, it is because people are not eating um, before they go to bed or they are not eating in the morning to avoid the queues in front of some of the food storages. So they are uh, doing some work and then they go back later in the day and have their meal instead. This is a good idea because when the tribe is so, it's very, very large, like 200 plus, you can have hours upon hours wasted by people standing in queue. So instead they um, are going to do some work while they wait for spaces to help themselves from food. Uh, and then they go eat and then they go back again oops oh we didn't hunt enough did we nope we didn't oh well it is what it is it will come back again soon won't it look at all the hunting we lost that's a lot it does happen it does happen especially if you don't hunt constantly and with bigger groups so people can learn but uh, it's going to be okay because they are going to pick it back up and uh, of course migrants will come and give you big grades as well so I'm not worried about that at all whoop de doo more migrants yeah she has improvements in both food processing and stonework and he has improvement in hunting we shall take you there you go. They didn't have any uh, livestock though. But now we need to feed our uh, pigs and uh, of course the others because there's no more grass for them. Oh, we can make passage tombs. Those are huge, huge uh, grave options. Uh, you can have i think it's 28 or 14 people it's a huge amount of people in it uh, that you can build it takes a ton of stone and a ton of mud so if you're going to build it you need to have a lot of stone incoming which we do not we do not have a lot of stone. we have some stone incoming because we want to build these but we don't have a ton I don't think we will find the time to, to build a passage tomb, but I am going to try to build at least a temple men here because it's 100% uh, unrest appeasement, which is something we do want. So yeah, so keeping the uh, animals well fed is important when they don't have grass. Where did I put my thingy? There they are. So what I'm going to do is I am going to give them storage area so that they don't 
they'll place the the wheat and the flax everywhere they've placed it into the into where the animals are and we don't really want that so i'm going to do this and let them place them where they should be there you go Ta -da. we have more wheat than we have flax so the the wheat gets more storage area more storage space so there What are you guys um, you are on the mud yeah and then you're gonna need straw yeah that's right Can you make it before midnight? <laughs> before the day ends? Come on, you can do it! No! Are you serious? They lack one! <laughs> that, come on! Really? Really? <laughs> that would not have happened in real life. Trust me, they would have placed that last flipping straw. <laughs> Okay then, it is what it is. Okay, we have four graves. Fine, fine. Mm. Yeah. So we do have good stuff going. We have one of each of all the farms. We have increased our uh, shelters for everyone. We have every. Oh, you! I need to put you on pause because they are insanely eager i think it must be really fun to do this because they are so eager to to split those logs and make planks it's like kids with toys you have to put the restrictions on it otherwise they will only play with that so now let um, me see how far are we from making uh dairies let me see no we can make dairy station we should make dairy station because we have goats and goats can be milked yeah Let's do it. Oops. So you will need mud and log. No, what did it say? It says mud and mud. Mm. Mud and log, right? Log and mud. Mud and log. It's log and mud. Mud and log and. Okay. Yeah. Keep tongue straight in your mouth <laughs> to say these things. Mud and log. Log and mud. <laughs> Right, so then we can make cheese, which is great. People love cheese. And we are, of course, also going to give storage options. So uh, one of them should really have the, uh, the milk. And then we give the cheese to where people are eating. But I need to pause one of them until we have enough fiber for both. Because at the moment, we only have enough fiber for one. Uh, each basket takes 16 uh, plant fibre, so yeah. You can of course plant the uh, plant down, place, place down as much as you like, even though you lack materials, because people will build it as materials come into camp. But I kind of like to have the materials in camp before I start building. That's just my preference. You can do whatever you like. Right, so our first dairy station is done. So they will put milk there, and then people will go and... Uh, make cheese oh wait a minute we didn't get any female goats we only have male goats they can't be milked damn what a disappointment i forgot about that i thought oh we have goats ergo milk but yeah no you need them to be females and these are both male mm. 
and that is a single pig female. She has no one. She's sad, sad and alone, which is heartbreaking. They need friends, they need family. So I need migrants to come with more livestock. Come on guys, don't be stingy with your livestock. I take good care of them, I promise. They get food, they get to walk in the free. 100% organic, no pesticides or anything, nothing chemical whatsoever. 100% organic, promise. And they live in the free. They can be in here and be safe if they want to. They have food, they have noms, they have everything they need. Everything. <clears throat> and they get to live out their full lives. They get to become old. And then we thank them very much for their contribution to our survival. And then we don't waste anything. Just like they did back in the day. Okay, so okay that one should be milk but of course we don't have milk but we are prepared we are prepared now aren't we yep so how are we doing with food we're going a bit low aren't we a little bit low you can stay where you are you don't need 100 you can do 50 for maintenance you can do as much as you like no point having you taking away the uh, limits so you can get a bit more food um, I'll do that and then just see I can always put the limit back on if it becomes wasted Sure. So the reason we do not have clams is because we are not by the coast. So there's absolutely no point picking in clams. Oh, give us some female goats. Nah. Meh. Okay, he has improved hunting. He has nothing. She has nothing. I'll take the improved hunting. Yeah. See, migrants are coming bit by bit with more inf uh, more knowledge. So even though you lose some levels of a knowledge, if you, are, for instance, if you don't have enough hunters to work on the skills, you will always get it back with migrants. So there's nothing to worry about. And migrants come all the time. Uh, 18, I can build this one as well for the cheese, which we will not have. Never, it seems. Year five, and I have basically nothing to, to build a livestock popularity on because I have well two males some species same species and only one female of another species that's not gonna work but if we could uh, interbreed we could get a, a pot a mix of pig and goat a pot no I wonder what that would look like goodness me <laughs> Or we could get a gip, mix of goat and pig, a gip, no? <laughs> I have great ideas, I have to admit. <laughs> oh, a basket is ready to use, that's going to be for the cheese that we can just dream about for now. Let me see how much, 744 and we have, how much do we have? Uh, 441, I'm going to make another one of the good huts, the Neolithic roundhouses. So you can see the better uh, uh, options we have for sleeping arrangements, the less unhappy faces we have. We used to have tons of unhappy faces because so many people were sleeping out in the open. But now we're getting more and more housing for people so we can take away two of those and just leave the original ones. And people will be happy sleeping in these instead. They also like to do their work in here. They like to eat in there. You can see the crafters are preferring to sit inside the huts to do their work. Which is also common, isn't it? When you got proper walls and housing and windows, people could sit inside and do their work. So it's a natural progression. Right, so... Um, okay. 
I am going to expand I'm going to expand my farms I'm going to do you and you and you're both going to be wheat and I am going to increase the workers on that farmland yeah I'm going to assign them to the uh, wheaters these and I'm going to give them three times more workers so I'm going to give them 15 there you go so roughly five per farm that should in theory be enough you can see that the item level or the item level the knowledge level in tribe is roughly 53% 50% that means that they will be a lot better than they were in the start with getting the farms done and when they reach closer and closer to 100 you can probably go down on the amount of people that you're using per farm and you can probably also at one point reach the max of farms you can place down which is 64 so yeah it, it takes um, a large tribe to manage 64 but if you play long enough and you play well then you can reach several hundred population on beginners at least on fast I think you can even reach up to 500 on fast on beginners on hardcore that's not gonna happen N not gonna happen everything is reduced by 75% of food and resources it's just no there's, there's no, no way you can get 500 people on hardcore nope but if you're lucky you can get a hundred if you're lucky oh a new leader died okay so he should be buried here when the morning comes and he also has the same restrictions as the other one look at him he has really good grades really good doesn't he look at that what a smart guy okay uh... <gasps> yes female male male we got one female is she coupled up though no hopefully she will get a lot of babies we are definitely taking these i don't care what the humans are i absolutely don't care i just want the goats <laughs> i want your pets much like in real life i don't care about the humans i would like the animals <laughs> no, no. it's not that bad I promise <laughs> Right, go eat if you want to, or no, it's uh, too warm. They have plenty of food in the wild still. Yeah, there is no sign saying we need to feed our animals now. So what I'm going to do as well is to uh, extend the fencing. I'm first of all going to make uh, connection points with gates so they can get in. Oh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. There you go you and you yep yeah, don't even think about it mr wild goat we will hunt you if you do if you go in there we will hunt you you get locked in you can't get back out oh god look at that one it's a hair it's so adorable isn't it yeah you better run <laughs> right okay so let them do that first let them work on that and now these fences also need a bit of repair. The thing is they only need like a stick or so and then they are ready to, to go for another few months. And it's so quick to, to repair as well. It's really no big deal. Okay, so this one is coming up soon. Oh, now I got more people. So suddenly it's more than half my people needing sleep spots. Okay, yeah, well, it will um, be sorted bit by bit. At the moment they are rotating you can see that the unhappy faces are fewer and fewer but they are rotating well to to who is sleeping in the the really good huts how many do i have left here i have one two three i have plenty yeah you can see some of the old ones have been recirculated as well recycled so yeah 
working as intended. This is good. Oh, maybe I should uh, let this one be oh, building. I forgot. I completely forgot about it. <laughs> oh, dude. Yep. Let's see. You don't have much left, do you? No, you just lack like 70 straw. Yeah, that will be quick. So on beginners, you can get away with, with having people wait for quite a while before you have proper sleep spots for everyone. But if you are uh, continuing to go on expert or specifically hardcore, you will not get away with that. Then we need to be quicker and just add whatever is better than open um, area or fireplace. Even the really bad ones. Just build whatever you can and whenever you can to avoid people leaving you. Bone harpoons. Ooh, that means they will fish more efficiently. That's nice. Let's do that. Let's do it. Let's make six. Uh, who is gathering bones, though? I don't see any bones coming in. You could probably do it. I'm just going to leave it open. Like that. Oh, I see the pine nuts are in big numbers again. Okay, time to chill on those again. <laughs> Who was it that I put to, to do them? Uh, let's have our, our limit on them again. Yeah? So they don't get wasted. Yeah, good. Just let people work. Now we just need this one to be finished. Yeah, it just lacks a bit of reed, and we do have the reed, so that is good. Where is the reed? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's almost uh, it's almost gone. Look, I was too fast or too soon with with gathering it, so some of it is actually being decaying in front of my face. Oh, come on, guys, hurry up, build it before it disappears. <laughs> You can do it, you can do it. They're gonna lack a few, aren't they? They're gonna lack a few. Maybe not. <gasps> one more, one more. You can do it. Yes. And then I'm gonna take it down to neutral so that they don't fill it first. They are going to fill it after they have filled the seed container first. There you go. Keep a little eye on it though, because sometimes when the seeds stay over a year, they could decay so much that when it comes time to planting again, it is decayed away. So you could, if you want to, just uh, open up the storages regularly. To make sure that uh, the decayed ones are being eaten up and I think I just lost all my beets but that's fine because we have tons of other food we can rely on while we wait for more beets to come oh another pig what is it oh it's a male it's a male you know what that means that means that my lonely pig now has a friend let's go get him you are going where did it go there you go Ta-da! look we can milk let me see if she found a friend she has she has a friend good good and i'm kind of hoping that these two will couple up my pig pig one and pig two 
oh, she's getting old though. Oh, another two years and then she will be too old to have kids. Aye, and then the male who just joined will be all alone. Ah oh, well, such is life. So now they are milking the the goat. I want to go have a look. Oh, she's quite far away, isn't she? Why are you all the way over there? I know why. Because she doesn't need to come to camp to eat. That's why. But as soon as the winter sets in, she's going to go to camp to get food. Yeah, it's a set in already because now there's very little food for her to graze on. So now she can <laughs> see. Now she's going into camp to feed. And as soon as she's close to camp, then people will milk her. So when you are big, you grant more milk, of course. So she grants two per day. But if you don't milk the animals every day, you will lose the milk. It's not they will uh, be more and more as you just leave it. The milk will disappear and then new milk will appear the day after. Are you trying to milk? You are? Yeah, but she's going to feed, so she doesn't care about what you want. Yeah? So are you going to try to... To catch up, you need to run if you're gonna catch up with the goat. Come on, you're just gonna. St <laughs> I think you. I think you gave up. Is it okay then, goat? You go eat first. I milk you after. Sure. Let's go. <laughs> oh, go get some food. Is that deer following the goat? It is. Oh my god! Why are you following my goat? Oh, that is creepy. What are you doing? Oh, wait a minute. Are you going to go steal food? You are. It's my goat. I thought it was a deer. It scared the crap out of me. But it's my other goat. <laughs> I was going to feed. That tricked me. Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. <laughs> That's getting the crap out of myself. Hysterical for absolutely no reason. There you go. Screw milking. I'm going to eat first. <laughs> okay, then they will come and milk her as soon as he eats in a bit. And there you go, milking happening. Uh, he got uh, two from her. That's good. That means they can now make cheese. Have they made cheese? It looks like they um, are ready to take orders. So this one... Okay, so they put milk in the uh, storage first and then they're, of course, going to place it in the dairy stations to create cheese. This is good. Oh, look at her. Look at her making cheese. Look, look, look. <laughs> we are going to get cheese. Excellent. Is she wiping her forehead with the bowl in her hand? Have you heard of hygiene? Woman! <laughs> yeah, that's a visual mishap if there ever was one. <laughs> okay, so that means... Um, let me see how much cheese we're getting. I don't remember how much cheese you're getting, but you're getting quite a few cheeses from from a few units of milk. Yeah. Takes a while to make though. Mm, yeah, some of you still have to sleep by the fireplace. It is what it is, but I can actually make more roundhouses to have enough. Uh, I do have enough of everything, so let's do it. Do -do 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 -do. And of course, I need to chill on the wood choppers. There you go. At four. Don't need that many.
Right, so now the builder group is taking care of all those. So they should look at look at her. How much she has increased her architecture skill. So the blue is what she had from beforehand. And the last, last few months she has learned all the green. That is a lot of learning. She has now uh, learned up to max of what the tribe max knowledge is. So she has reached the max. This also means, in theory, that she could discover better ways to do things and by that increase knowledge in the tribe. So this is great. This is working as intended plus plus. And she probably just started. You can see she just achieved to get the rudimentary. Now she's working on improving it. So him as well has learned a lot the last few months. Her too. She didn't have too much to learn before she reached the max of tribe. But she has learned what she could. Okay, let's see. More animals. More animals. More animals. No. Not more animals. Uh, yeah. Leather working is increased for that one. And oh, more agriculture and definitely more woodworks. I will take it. Welcome to the tribe. I'll make sure that we have food enough for the animals. We do. That's good. Uh, oh, look, look. She pregnant. Yes. <laughs> That is fantastic! Oh, that made me so happy. That means we can start to build our own stock of livestock. But of course, I'm going to hope for more, of course, to come. So we can get a good, a good pile, a good pile of animals. So, um, the pigs, unfortunately, the female is fairly old. So if she gets one offspring i think that will be max to be honest how's it going with the cheese oh you guys have probably already eaten it up because people love the cheese oh there's some more incoming here just need to finish it are you gonna make some cheese no you gotta chill out good there's work to be done okay going for wooden space don't mind are you making cheese are you making cheese are you making cheese? <laughs> are you? Are you? <laughs> Go make cheese! Come on! Come on! How about you? How about you? 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 No. 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 That's too much work to do besides. Because making cheese is a communal chore. It means everyone can do it. You don't need specific skills to do it. Yeah. But of course, if you have food processing, you will get skills. Let's see. Oh yeah, that one I put on very low, didn't I? Which also means they will be reluctant to repair it as well. It was so damn prioritized. <laughs> okay, how's this one going? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get some speed. How much do we have? We have 2,000 stones and we have plenty graves. Good recycling there, dudes. My dudes. We probably have a ton of old people. 29. But we have 40 children. Oh my goodness me. I need to start rejecting uh, migrants. Can't have so many people. It's going to be difficult to, to feed them all. Okay, as soon as these are done planting, I am going to create a fence and then remove the fence that is between them. Yep, maybe I should make other types as well. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Because we can't keep relying on the wild produce, we need to be sustained ourselves. So I think I'm going to add more farms, but I'm going to wait till. Is that a sheep? Look, the sheep are, are hungry when it's a uh, little green grass for them. That one is not hungry, but that sheep is. But they, they won't die from starvation. There's always food, although there's little food. Oh, what am I going to do with these? Oh. None of them have increase, skill increase. Should I reject them or no? Actually, I'm going to take everything. 
<laughs> and then we're gonna have a famine because I can't feed them all. Yeah, good play there, Lily. You're doing exactly what you tell people not to do. It's like I said, do as I say, not as I do. Okay? Okay? <laughs> okay then. Let me see. Do we have cheese? Do we have cheese? No? No time? What are the work hours? They are normal default work hours. No, they have eaten the cheese. Oh, there you go. There's two in there now. People like cheese. They like to eat it. So she is going to eat cheese. It looks so good, doesn't it? And they're sitting around the fireplace talking about their day, what they've done. Oh, it's so cozy, isn't it? Are you dancing on your dad? Dude, have you heard about manners? <laughs> you like cheese, yeah, you do. You do. You all like cheese. That's fine. Okay, let's get some speed. Now let's see how these um, these goats of ours are doing. Oh, oh God, I thought she had gotten more, more babies. Did she have a baby and has already given birth to a baby and then pregnant again? Or can I not count? Oh, it's a baby. Look, it's a girl. Oh, and she's pregnant again. Damn. This is nice. Oh, look. Now people figured out, oh, even though the old lady who know how to do this have died, we figured it out ourselves. So now the younger generation has caught up. See, told you, you will get it back quickly. This is something that can happen with skills that you don't use constantly all the time with many people. So um, as you progress through the Neolithic area, you will have less and less pelt uh, huts and you will have of course keep up some of the uh, leather hunting skills because you need to uh, build your threshers and also to maintain them because uh, the maintenance demands of course leather so you won't um, uh, have it maxed out that would just never happen and you can at times lose some skill levels as well but they will always be be coming back via migrants or your people uh, figuring stuff out themselves because if an older person with the highest skill dies of old age before the next generation has learned his skills, then you lose those levels of skills. And then your next generation will have to figure things out on their own. That's just how it is. Let me see. So these guys, um, these guys are ready for mill and oven. So let's do that. Let's have it fairly close to where they are. So if we have those two there, uh, don't have too many mills because the maintenance material they need is fine raw stone and fine raw stone is the most scarce resource we have in the game. So be careful with those. And then we need a few ovens. Let's place a few bakery ovens here. See, so we can make bread. And these will need logs to be maintained and they will burn the log over a few days and then you will need to add more it's the same principle as it is with the big fireplace really so how many are lacking now quite a few still it's like we can never catch up we can never catch up please <laughs> there's always someone lacking something i'm going to increase the um income of straw to 900 and then build another of these yeah you can basically just be there I think there you go so nice okay so now uh, these are done but we didn't uh, get them all because I don't think they cleared everything or 
what are you you are yeah i don't need more of you guys so i'm gonna leave you but you i will take more of you uh, you can go there Ta-da! and then i'm going to add one for the um the beat group as well is that beats yeah Need to make sure there's no famine in the in the tribe. Okay, I think I can't reach that. I'll I'll go on that side instead. What is that? Oh, that is a pine tree coming up. I'll just leave it. There you go. But of course, I need to increase workers as well to accommodate. So there should be 10 and then these should be 10 as well there you go that'll do it and I don't want these to be repaired I want those to actually I'm gonna dismantle them immediately Let's just get that done because we're going to remove this wall and whatever animals goes in there of the wild ones if they don't get their butts out before I close it completely they will be hunted and killed it is what it is let's just get that done quickly Some some of the materials that you use to build when you dismantle, you can get it back. For instance, the uh, pelt huts are for nomadic lifestyles, so you will get back both the fine uh, sticks and also, of course, the the leather, so you can take it with you when you move to the next area. Oh, new cow, and it's a bull, and it's fairly young. Yeah, I'll take him. It's a young bull. Sure, I forgot to look at the human. Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah, we have a cow again. Now we just need some females. Actually, we need a few females because uh, even though they don't necessarily couple up all the animals, they will have partners anyway that fathers their offspring. Which, of course, is correct. Okay, let's... Uh, get these protected as well fully green and nothing to disturb them let's find the yellow here no it's too much over but you can see the the snap to went directly to the edge of the gate so we do have a connection then we just leave them to it and I'm taking away the middle ones here there you go yeah, so your own livestock can go through the fences as, or fences, go through the gates as well as your tribe, but they will avoid your farmlands. While the wild herbivores, they will trample and eat what they can. They show no such consideration. Just saying, <laughs> no manners. <laughs> They're stepping in the food. Mm -hmm. Talk about uh, jumping in the salad. Okay, so to make sure that these are not taking all the grain constantly, you need to keep your grain locked in otherwise these will get them and then they will become flour of course that you can bake bread with so people love bread and it's really economical four sheaves grants <clears throat> two grains and those two grains will grant 10 bread so the economical part is not even debatable it is 100 percent economical so yes let me see how are we doing i'm going to pause this one i don't understand why uh, they are so wildly wanting to do those planks it's like really go make cheese instead come on come on because how many females do i have only have one that can be milked and soon her child will be big enough 
what did she get? Oh, she, she got a baby. Uh, so that's the first child she got. That's a female. Then we need to see what the next one is. It's also female. Look. She hasn't got a year, which means she's just newly born. So when you see that they have no number behind their, their uh, name, goat one is one years old. You know that those who have no number, they are below one years old. So now I have, I have three females now. This is great. I think we just secured our goats. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so how many? Okay, I need two. Crikey. Yeah. So when you lock down some of these seeds, you need to uh, remember to have overflow areas so that when your main storage area needs repairs, you need to give them somewhere that the tribe can carry the seeds to when you need to repair your original ones. Because sometimes the tribe goes and eat everything that they can find. <laughs> and you need to make sure that you save your seed. Yeah, I'm going to go see. Um, I lack beets because I forgot to... No, I have a few. Let's see if that can hold up. So I'm going to lock them down, which I am doing. So, yeah. It's, it's so quickly done to forget to lock down your stuff. Uh, it's um, It happens all the time. Right, so how are we doing there? Uh, you have extra and, and you have extra. So we have three, three wheats and two beets and two peas. And then we only need one, if any at all, actually, of the flax. Okay, so let's build more of the roundhouses. Yeah, let's do that. I can fit one here, here as well. Ta-da! Just there you go. Also, you can see what work needs to be done all the time on the tasks, on things that you're building and doing. You can keep an eye on what is needed to be done. So here they need to crop something before they can start building it. So as soon as they've started uh, or gotten rid of whatever debris is in the way for the building, then it will pop up with a hammer and then you can also see uh, what needs to be done or the process of the building. So everything that happens has explanations and you can pay attention to the development and the steps of where they are in what they are doing. And suddenly we only have two left. What in the actual left? Didn't we just have a million? How many old people have I lost? Five! Dude, five in one, one foul swoop. Oh, a new cow! No, that, that's a goat. And it's a huge female. Nice. You are coming with me. I thought it was a cow. <laughs> I need to check my eyes. What the hell? Okay. Come with me, my friend. Let me have a look at you. Okay, you're 53. Me, me. So this is basically the culture tab. It shows what kind of culture she has when she comes to the tribe. So we shouldn't really have too many with any Mesolithic um, uh, culture still intact. It could happen though. It could happen. But it's not very likely. If you start in the Mesolithic instead of like we did in the Neolithic, you will start with with all, obviously more Mesolithic than Neolithic culture influence. But as you are progressing through the centuries, you will get more and more Neolithic influence, of course. Okay, so this is uh, beets. They should be not the highest, but the second highest. And that's not done. And these should have same priority. How many do I have on that one? 37. Okay, I'll do 37 on this one too. There you go. And of course, this one will also have that. So that they fill this one, number two, after these. And this one will, of course, be the piece when it's finished building. Yeah. Okay, so that one is going to be piece. 
and we need to increase them because now we have two don't we we have two of these so they need to be increased a bit you are increased you can stay and you can go there okay so now they have one below in priority compared to those <clears throat> So when these are safe and have been repaired, the seeds that were in them are then gone over to here. And when all the planting is done, you can just as well open these and let people eat. And then you lock them down again for another season. Then you make sure that your seeds are not being eaten up whenever your original, original storage facilities need repairs. So it's kind of like a safe system, fail safe. Uh, quite smart let me see do you guys have enough time no time to do the work are you doing other stuff as well no. yeah you are working that's good just let them work in peace a bit so not give them more tasks really really Right, well, we have to add more. It is what it is. How many do we need? Was it one? It said one, wasn't it? But now we need two. Okay, we're building three. So hopefully some of these are recirculated uh, completely soon. Yeah, that one is basically going to be empty now. That means we will only need one more. There you go, that one is free now. That one has a bit left to go. Yeah, that one is going soon as well. So it might take a little bit before we find the perfect rhythm of recirculation of graves. But of course it depends of course on your population. So yeah. <clears throat> we should only lack one now or have more people died without me noticing no only one what have you improved look at him he has a little bit of miso culture probably gotten from his parents no probably from his mom then oh wait that's his couple duh i lost him crikey i lost him <laughs> but you can check their culture to see what they have. So he got his uh, his culture from his mom, it seems. And she got it from her parents again. You know, it goes traditionally down by mouth and experience from one generation to the next. And of course, as you go further and further into the Neolithic timeline, you will get less and less of the Mesolithic influence. So it's not enough to affect the tribe as such but uh, she still knows how to make spaghetti from the Mesolithic age just saying she's the only one who knows how to make Mesolithic spaghetti just saying oh get cows 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 oh oh my word look at all those goats you're mine I need to go find them female we are gonna have an army of goats look at that <laughs> all mine oh there was a house that I didn't okay so you 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 want to is that all was that what I had oh an old dead goat that was it wasn't it yeah it was how many do you need two now I need to have a look at these people I didn't look at them at all they should all be very very basically pure miso which they are. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. These are fine. These are fine. Nice. Okay, so how are we doing on the food front? Because suddenly we have had a, like a poof explosion in 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 people. 
So we need to make sure we can actually feed everyone. Is that a good idea there, Lily? So let's go over and see fishermen. We have four. Uh, hunters, we have four. Herders, you need a bit more because you have quite a few more to, to work with now. So one, two, three, four, five, and six females that need milking every day. You don't necessarily need six as such, but I'm going to give you six. And I'm going to give you guys two more people. Uh, we need to make sure that the animals have enough food. So I'm going to open up that one again. I'd rather have a little bit too much pine nuts and waste a little bit than having any of my livestock going hungry. So, uh, yeah, 900 straw. That is exactly what I wanted them to have. What are you guys doing? You guys can stay where you are because that's a nice and steady stream of sticks that you need to keep up. Um, yeah, you guys are fine. Uh, you guys are fine. Yeah, you need to be alone on those and you can get those. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need to change anything there. And you guys can, in theory, get two more. But I am going to take away those two and let the main group only which is the stragglers, focus on getting some of those um, crop yields. Right, okay, so as soon as the farming season starts, then a lot of people will go to do farming. Yep. <clears throat> so, it's quite a few, it's like 40, 43 people will be dragged away. So many idle because they're old, so they're going down on work ages. So I have a, a lesser workforce than I ideally would like to have. See how old is he? He's 63, so he has quite a few years left. The problem with him is that he has such a bad grade, he can't convince the tribe to listen to me instead of just going with whatever he feels at that point. So when they have high charisma, it means that I can more easily ask him to sway the rest of the population to to basically do as I see fit, do as I deem necessary to have done. And I would like to have maxed out work age, always maxed out. But as long as you don't mess around too much with the labor hours, you should be all right doing that. You, of course, are, are stopping the growth of the younger ones a little bit, but not to a point where you are basically killing off your future work workforce. It did just take a little bit longer to reach um, maximum fitness. Okay, so now um, there is one there that will be done soon. Dunish. Okay, so let's see. So now the... Uh, Tilling season is going to start. Yeah, it has already started. I think. Me think. Where are we? We are in December. So yeah, then we need to wait a few weeks. <coughs> a few sleeps and then it starts. How are we doing with planks? Look at all the planks. If I don't pause it, they are just hysterically going to do the planks. I'm, I'm sure everyone loves doing the planks. It's like they, it's, it's a toy for them. <laughs> it's like cars, racing cars. <laughs> see, 26. Yeah, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Let's have a look at our... Uh, did I just see our tomb lack? Dude. Dude. Look at how many goats we've got. We've got 10 goats now. How many of these do I have to build before it calms down? Seriously? It's a huge graveyard. Let's see? See how quickly it is to repair the fence sections? It's like one stick, one person, five seconds, and then he's done. But of course the gates are fine sticks and it takes a longer time to do. Demands more. 
But you can see there are several people doing their repairs, so it's not going to take long. A dead Auroch. Do you have any meat left on you? No. You are basically ready to be stripped completely. So many still sleeping with the open, but that's that's it is what it is. Let's uh, build more because now this one is done and this one is done. They're all done. Let's build more. So I'm going to put one here. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> yeah. Ooh, more animals. No. Nah. Mm, meh. 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 I don't know. Well, I'll just take him. I'm becoming so demanding now. Because I got so spoiled having all those goats in the last pack of migrants that came. <laughs> the last group. Yeah, are you enjoying the nuts? You are, aren't you? Yeah, good. Oh, I have too many stones, so they are starting to pile them up inside the uh, animal enclosure. Can't have that. Yeah, I'm going to place them here, actually, I think. I can place some stones there. What else are they piling up inside the animal enclosure? That's it. Yeah, it's the stones, so they can tidy them out now. There you go. Let's take the bones. Come on guys, build faster. One, only one, that's good. Mm -hmm. give these more people there you go oh do you have animals you do you do have a cow let's get the cow yeah I have I heard as what what's that is that a cow or no it's a bull now you have a friend. But, do you see what I see? She's 10 years, she's old, she can't be milked, and she won't have any babies. Really, game? Really? So she will just go to camp to get slaughtered. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Like I can't can't catch up, can't catch up with, with the building of all housing. It's just so much. Right, I know what I have to do. Ooh, what the? Just 
just chock up housing. Okay, more cows, more cows. No, pigs. I'll take pigs. Male. Male. No, I just need to check and make sure that I have females. I don't remember. We shall find out. Yeah, they, they slaughtered the cow basically the second she came in to the camp or to the uh, to the tribe. What a pity. What are you? Are you please be female? No. Right. <laughs> okay then. Now I have uh, three males. Oops. Females. Sure. So my stupid computer decided to restart itself due to some upgrades that was done with Windows and whatnot. So it closed down my game and um, the earliest save I had was a few sleeps before the migrants came with the two pigs that were male. So now I'm back to only one pig. Mm hmm Still male. Ah oh well, it happens. Moving on. Sag. Yeah, that one is uh, almost done. And then... As soon as we have ten, we can add another one. I need to get on top of the housing issues. Can't have it like this. I've been slacking way too much. We don't have a lot of beats. We need to do better. So I'm going to let a lot of these groups gather some beats so we can get the stock. They're not in season yet, but they will be soon. Yep. I know, I know. I know, I know. I mean, your family's got to eat then. Gosh. Not like you don't have food. Doing with graves. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. Mm. So nice. Uh, five. Need more. Need more. Oh. And goats. Yeah, male and female. I'll take those. Let's go get them. Now we have lots of goats. Oh, they have babies again. Gosh, as soon as she got into maturity, mature enough to have babies, she is pregnant. Sure, why not? All good. Okay, so how much are we lacking now? 46. Right. Okay, so we are uh, basically where we should be with regards to farms and stuff. We might have to add a bit more farms because we kind of have had a little bit explosive population. I don't recommend necessarily that you accept all migrants, but uh, you can if you just remember to get up your farms incrementally with your population. Uh, beginners is very, very forgiving, so you can get away with relying on a lot of wild produce for many, many years. Um, so you can play around and, and find your limits in your tribe. 
to see when you need to really focus much more on your farm food. But for now we are doing all right. And suddenly we have a ton of graves available. Yeah, we lost a huge pile in one go there earlier, didn't we? A lot of old people. And see how the blackberries are spreading. That's nice. Very nice. I'm going to ask people to go gather um, those as well. You guys are going to get tons of those on your own. And I'm going to make a few more storage areas. I'm going to use the uh, the ceramic ones. Why won't you be placed there? Is there something else in the way? There's a stone, perhaps. Anyway, let's build a few of these. There you go, three new ones. To put some, some of our food in, so they last longer. So nice. give those to these no I didn't <laughs> but I should make sure they are uh, increasing their skill levels we also need to build some baskets for the flower and of course also for the red there you go how many do i have i have 15 so this one can wait but i'll get the flower one up there you go and we have plenty mud and we have plenty logs so these will be built without any issues Okay, hey, you are going to have those. You are going to have some of the nuts. And so will you. There you go. I'm going to make others as well. I'm going to make more. But a bit, only a bit at a time so you don't overwork your tribe. I love that we have 16 goats. We have so many goats, that's great. They are milking them. Getting milk, meaning we get more and more cheese. Yay! Oh, we have a new leader. Let's see how. Ooh la la, guess where that one is going? Dun dun dun. There you go. That means that more and more people will be working instead of just sitting on their bums doing nada. Okay, that was a basket ready to use. I didn't notice it. That's the one, and that one is for flour. See? Yeah. Doing good. Since we have enough fiber, I'm going to open that one as well and assign it to bread. Go, 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 make bread.
look, they have made bread. People love bread, absolute suckers for bread. It's, I think it's probably their favorite food along with meat and fish. How are we doing with the graves? Where are the graves? There they are, there are plenty of graves. We're good, we're good. What's that? A mushroom. Let's get nothing. Let's get nothing. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm tempted to reject these, but I need to get them all. <laughs> I collect them all. I'm a, I'm a collector, collector of migrants. Look, they are so unhappy. Do, am I lacking food? Are they going to go completely uber grumpy on me because they don't have enough food? Okay, so now they are going to thresh all the wheat and make more bread, I hope. I hope, I hope. I need to make sure that the animals are well fed. Yeah, good, 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 good. Okay, so we got uh, more beets now. So we can plant, this is good. So we just had uh, two new pigs and they were female. So now hopefully we will get uh, piglets. Always welcome. How many? We have seven. I need more before I want to start. I took away the food assignments to the dryer to let people just eat directly because I saw we had a little bit little food. So I wanted to make sure that everyone could eat, even if it was raw. I'd rather that than that they were going to bed really hungry. Oh, that one needs to be taken down as well. Ta -da. Okay. So look at all the bread. They love bread so much. I think I already have a ball, don't I? I do. <laughs> but I'll take him because when he grows old, he is still a lot of meat and leather and bones. There you go. So let's see if there are more steps we can do on this 
tutorial. We should try to go through it all uh, a bit more extended, obviously, than the tutorial, uh, which is the point of this playthrough. Uh, yeah, we've already gone over the assigning and the reassigning. So that is uh, clear. And of course, we've made the hunting group as well. And of course, built the tools that we needed for the hunting. So like uh, some tools you need to do some of your tasks. For instance, hunters cannot work without any tools. They need tools. And also uh, lumberjacks need access to do their job. The rest of all gathering and action things that you need to do in your groups can be done by hand without any tools. But these tools are uh, added. Tools are added so you can improve the performance, which is also something we have talked about. So basically, uh, some tools are required for specific tasks, while others are made to improve upon tasks. So that's also um, sorted when we also have gone over the limits that you should place on items. And of course, malnutrition and starvation. So uh, malnutrition is um, a disease. Uh, when you get it, you will have a red bowl showing up in the person's uh, state page that lets you know how far along this person is in starvation so basically when you have too little food or people don't have enough food for a long time they can go into starvation mode and if you then not manage if you can't manage to get enough food for your tribe then the starvation will become fatal that means they will die more or less within the day or so unless you manage to get them food and the disease is then going to last until you have managed to give them full meals for several days in a row. So it's a very unforgiving disease. If you if you see that your tribe is going into starvation, you need to up all your food resources immediately. Pause everything else. Don't worry about huts or anything. Just get more food into camp. Because when people get starvation, they will die. They can sleep in the open for a few nights without dying. They won't die from sleeping in the open, but they will die from malnutrition. And also when they are really hungry and starving, they will stop working because they're too weak to work. Yeah, so famine must be avoided at all cost. Um, and of course, uh, the exclamation mark, the report system we have also talked about. You can see the overview the problems that are in the tribe and then you can go in and pinpoint exactly where those problems are so this one here is we have no bait roots it is not because the locality locality does not have it it's because it's out of season and we can't get them that's all there is to it you will learn these things as you play the game you will learn to know the difference about what things are yeah mm -hmm. okay so and unrest, how we have also talked about, and uh, important as well is to try to avoid the combination of unrests. If you have only one type of unrest, then people are more likely to stay with you. But if you get several types of unrest, making a combination of unrest, they are more likely to go higher up on the overall unrest and then eventually just leave you. Let me see what else is there. See how they, how these are doing. Yeah, that's uh, fine and dandy. Of course, the policies is something you will have to get used to, bit by bit, and learn how to to deal with them. Uh, the most important part is to not overdo your work hours. Just play around and see what your tribe will accept and then work within those confines that the tribe leader has placed on you, of course. You have no other choice, really. You have to do it. Otherwise, you can't change anything. So these need repairs again. This is the thing with working on fast, is that things need repair so much quicker because one sleep is one month in this uh, speed. Yeah. So yeah, play around with the with the uh, policies and see how your people react. They will let you know immediately if they don't like anything. Yeah. 
Of course, we have talked about the tribe leader as well, how they are affecting your decisions in the uh, policies. And we also know now that the red areas are off limits for us, so we cannot go on those. Otherwise, system will plunk you straight down to the max of what the tribe leader has decided. So knowledge, have we also talked a lot about knowledge um, and we will probably continue to talk about it because it's a very big area and um, uh, all uh, tribes start with all knowledges except agriculture unless you are in the Neolithic range. If you are in the Neolithic range you will start with agriculture knowledge already in the tribe uh, but if you start in Miso you will not get the agriculture until you get closer to Neolithic timeline and then you will have varying degrees and varying uh, levels of the knowledges you have. Uh, the further back in time you go, if you go to 10 KBC, you will have the smallest amount of, of um, skill levels in all the knowledges and the further to the Neolithic you go, the more increase you will have in the starter selection of knowledges. So this goes hand in hand. Also, your development will be much slower in the Miso and then speed up as soon as you start coming into the Neolithic era. So knowledge learning is also something we have been talking about and will continue to talk about. It is important that you are giving your generations, the new generations, tasks to perform within any knowledge that they uh, need to learn. So if you don't create a task, four or several tasks for your next generation the older generation have no one to teach their skills to that means when they die from old age they will die with their skills so that you will lose those levels when the elder generation dies so make sure that you are making a tasks for everyone in all technologies that you need to improve for each and every generation the loss is generational, so it's not going to be that you lose one per year or lose several per year. You will lose per time a generation dies. And this is quite all right because you have plenty of time to, to work um, with the knowledges to make sure that you don't lose them. And also, like we talked about earlier, that if you use too little of a knowledge, you can lose, use, uh, lose levels of it. And then you will have to work to get it back, either via tribe discoveries or that migrants will bring it to you. You will get it back either way. So you just need to remember that. Uh, so farming and farmlands, we have also talked about and covered. So that is good. Um, you don't have to create farming groups because the tribe will do the work but you are then uh, taking all the workforce from everything else because they will run to your farms to do those so just keep that in mind if you are using only tribe to to deal with your farmlands i try to always use farming groups to make sure that i don't steal all the workforce because that is not needed so the tombs and the prayers we've also talked about and uh, also, uh, as you go further and further into the Neolithic area, you get access to more and more. And the big one is, of course, the passage tomb, which demands a lot of stones and, and mud to be built. Um, so these are plain religious structures, while the men here and the Trilithon are pure support structures. That means that the uh, temples give appeasement while the men here and the Trilithon gives speed of appeasement. We talked about this earlier, but you can also test this out yourself. Also, some of these support structures have the option to get multiple in one go. You just press once and then you drag it out, whatever size as you see fit. Or you can just place down one. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Double click. Oops, didn't want to go there. There you go. Double click and you have one. Yeah. You also have the wooden posts that you can get if you have enough Mesolithic influence in the tribe, which we do not. So it won't even show up for us because uh, nobody in the tribe remembers or has been taught by anyone how to make wooden posts. So they won't remember that. But yeah. 
So that is um, covered. So these are again the tombs of on burials. Yeah, we talked about that you need to bury them, otherwise your relative the relatives will not be happy. And animal husbandry, we are going over it constantly. Yeah, the tip is to basically fence in your area of feeders so the wild herbivores do not <laughs> go and eat up the food for your domestic animals and we have covered that as well. And that is basically the tutorial. It is basic and you have to figure out a lot on your own. But that is why I'm making these playthroughs so that you can um, learn a little bit more and get a little bit more help uh, and guidance in how to do it. Um, and unfortunately each tribe is different so even though we are playing correctly right at this moment this might not work for the next tribe we could have already lost half the tribe due to lack of housing in another tribe it really really depends on the tribe and the environment so but you will find that out as you go along of course right so let's see how many houses are we lacking now are we okay so that means that some of them need repairs yeah i can see there are several that needs repairs. Okay, that's fine. All fine and dandy. Okay, so how much of these? These have been done, so that means I can, in theory, open them up and let people eat. And those and those are not. These can be opened. Just let people eat. There you go. Look at all my goats. Look at oh my pig is pregnant. Finally. Finally we're getting pregnant pigs. Nice. But I have two bulls. <laughs> they will not get pregnant. Ah way. But look at all the goats. We have 22 goats now. That is great. That is fabulous. Fantabulous. Are you still lacking? Yeah, you are. How many people do you have? You have 10. You will reach over what you can reach and that's that. I think I'm going to add more people to my farmers. Those can take two more. You can take two more. Wait, how many did you get? You got three, didn't you? No, you didn't. You got two, duh. You could take two more. And you can take two more. One more. There you go. And you can take. Wait a minute. Are you? Oh, no, you don't need. You don't need two more. You're fine the way you are. Eight is fine for you because you only have one. See? Only one. Need no more. Probably don't even need eight. But at least they get quickly done and then move on to the next group that needs work done. So it's all good and dandy. Let's see, I have 13. That means I can open up another one to be built. Get more housing. Yep. We have 3,000 stones. You know, I think I'm going to build an altar. Because an altar is granting... 80% appeasement instead of waiting forever to get the other one. So I'm just going to place it down there. But I'm of course going to let these deal with them. So the entire tribe is not going there because that is absolutely no use. Okay. Mm, migrants. Bull. Cow. We need cow. You are with us. Hello to you too. You and you. Sure. Good. So now we have a cow and three bulls. But we only need one cow to start. But she's seven, okay. So she will have three years where she can be productive with regards to getting, getting babies. So she doesn't need to couple up to have babies at all. She just needs to have 
a male in the vicinity and that's it. That's all you need. A lot of old people are not working. You're too old to work. I know you are. I know you are. I should uh, get down fireplaces because some of them actually have to sleep out in the open and they shouldn't have to do that when we have plenty logs and stones to give them at least some reduction on the unrest. Yeah, so it's soon time to harvest the beets. Uh, let's see. Yep. People need to eat up these. So we can get in fresh. Yeah, you have nothing. You can be closed down like that. Ooh la la. Uh, another goat. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take more goats. It's all good. Might have to increase the work spots in the herder group soon. But the milking is fairly quickly done, so don't need a ton of people. You will see if any of them goes the entire day without being milked, then you need to add more people to your herder group. Let me see where somewhere I'm going to put down my fishermen. quite a bit to let the fish uh, regenerate in the rivers that's a good idea so we're doing okay with the food so I could probably put these back on dryers like that Now we need to see how much more farms we need to add. resources left. You guys can also do other things. Ah, oh, 90 is not going to work. There you go. I can't type. <laughs> there you go. I'll take them. Gosh, I'm doing too much. Taking too much people in, we're going to have famine. <laughs> we're going to have some hungry people. The, uh, I love that we have uh, so much uh, migrants coming regularly. How many did I get? Um, four? Was it four? Oh, my cow is pregnant! Yay! Nice. Okay, so that's male, male, female, a female. Good, 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 good. 
Excellent. And we have a new leader. Okay. What are we doing with the... Yeah, plenty graves. Plenty graves. Okay, so we are getting a good amount of beads. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. We should have plenty amounts of, of wheat this season. How are we doing with leather? I'm going to add more treasures, treasures to get the, the uh, wheat threshed before they decay. Son, yeah, can do. This means it's bread time. I also need to lock down so we can save seeds. Let me see. Yeah, you too. There you go. And these needs to be assigned to wheat. There you go. How many old people do we have not working? We have so many people not working. So many children and so many elderly. But the tribe is mostly happy still, so I'm quite okay with that. But we definitely need to start sooner with getting enough uh, housing for people. Even though it's not the best quality housing, you just need to get it done really. Just get up whatever's there so nobody sleeps by the fireplace because they don't like it and certainly not long term. They start whining fairly quickly, even on beginners. How are my pigs doing? Look at that. That's a baby pig that has been born female very good and what what did the cow get let me have a look she got a small boy should have been a girl though should have been a girl look at all the goats i have comparison to to everything else well it's just the the draw of the the luck it's just how it was this tribe is relying on goats for their milk that's fine it is uh, totally authentic. You know, not all tribes had everything. And they certainly didn't necessarily have the same amount of everything. So randomness is, is actually making it quite authentic. See the tasks they have, a lot of tasks. Is she pregnant again? She is. Damn! Okay, so it's still feeding time because there's of course not enough green grass or at least not the right type of grass that they would like to eat. Yum! They're building now the altar as well. They're quite fast, aren't they? They've already placed more than 600 stones. So when people pray now, 
to the altar when it's done building, they will get a, a 80% appeasement instead of just the 30 that Neolithic offering is, is, is granting. So that's nice. That's very nice. Let me see. Mm -hmm. That's an odd number. Have 18. Okay. Now I just let my my tribe work as they see fit. Did I not build the basket? Oh gosh, I forgot to complete building the basket for for bread. There you go, building now. Better late than never. Let's see how we're doing with these. Mm -hmm. So now they are soon going to start uh, tilling again. It is kind of my own fault that there's so many people without proper housing because I've just accepted everything that could walk, talk and crawl. And ideally you should be a little bit more critical. But it's just, I just wanted them all. Just had to have them all. Gotta have them all. You know? You should play with a bit more brains than me. It's like I keep saying, do as I say, not as I do. See? Yeah. Okay, so let's get up that one as well. We are going to get there bit by bit. I promise. <laughs> Slowly but surely. How are you guys doing? You have food? Yes, you're happy. Yes, good. Very good. If your livestock is starving, you will get a blue haystack or a yellow haystack, depending on the severity of starvation. And then you will have to go through and see which, which ones of your animals are not being fed and make sure that you have enough feeders to cover for all your livestock. How far away I am? This, yeah, basically just started, didn't it? This one. Come on guys, go be useful. Yeah, good. I should probably chill a bit on my lumberjacks as well. Take down to one. There you go. Need to keep an eye on the planks too, because the, all the um, materials that needed for, uh, all the objects needed that needed for uh, maintenance will be taking two, four, six, at least six planks per half year or so. So we need to keep an eye on the materials to make sure you have enough of everything. Okay. Just making sure there are seeds here to cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good. I'm just surprised that nobody's left yet because many of them have slept out by the fireplace for so many years now <laughs> so many years they should be really fed up really fed up Happy and pregnant. And baby goats being born all the time. They are so adorable when they're small. So adorable. It's 
749, 750. Let's build more of these. Um, I'm going to place one here. There you go. Yeah, so this has started now and yeah, looking good. I need to make more wooden spears because they seem to be arguing about them now. Let's make 50. Oh, that's 40 lily. 50. How many of these are we making? No, that's the wrong one. 100. Yeah, that's still fine. Let's see if we need to improve or increase any of these. No, that's fine. We could probably do those 100 and those a little bit, but not too much. Um, keep them active. There you go. someone complaining okay we only have three left yeah but some of these will soon be recyclable let me see oh plenty cows bull 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 cow one cow out of all of those sure sure mm-hmm Are you coupled up with any of these? No, you're not. I think we need to increase the workers in the herder group. Just max it out. Yeah. Let's just get people going. Let's see how full the uh, straggler group is. Should be maxed. Yeah, that's good. You just basically max out everything because now we have 200 plus populations so we can afford to max out our groups just keep an eye on and see when you need to stop because they're still maxed out How are they doing with the altar? Yeah. Oh, they are basically halfway there. This is good. And we got another new leader. Let's see what she allows me to do. Oh, one notch higher up. Good, good, good. That means more people will be working. This can only be good. We have 232. I really need to chill on the bleeding migrants. Just that they tempt me, so it's hard to say no. It's really hard to say no. And I think that if you can manage this amount, accept them all. But uh, I do have moments where we have a little bit low on food, a little bit low food food stocks. So I really need to start using my head a little bit more. <laughs> me thinks. But it's just so darn difficult to say no. Just try it yourself. It's really difficult to say no. And then you guys are going to show me. No, Lily, I say no all the time. Okay, then. <laughs> Look at all the babies and children. Oh, my God, so many. So many. Oh. I think I'm going to need 
to use this one for for other stuff uh, that one that's a start because <laughs> there's so much so much food now because uh, I don't want it to happen again that we go really low really low is not an option I'm gonna place that one there put more food in there you go so the good thing about beginners is that you will have a lot of food in the world that you can rely on if you can't get your farms correct the first few years that is fine in uh, beginners but you should also remind remember that it won't be this easy in expert and certainly not in hardcore if you cock up your farms in hardcore you will have between one and two years before you basically a dead tribe so yeah, need to be much more vigilant in, in hardcore than on beginners, of course. Yep. I'm going to make one more feeding trough for um, the pigs to give them some more of our food. Ta-da. I'm gonna wait till they've built this one before I build more. Okay, good. So now we have plenty food incoming. Yeah. And we're almost done with that one too. Time to harvest the wheat. Well, I can't say no when they've got a female pig. Come on. <laughs> That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Ta-da. Look at all the goats. Look at all that goats. I love it. See, oh, we're lacking graves again. Oh, no, we're not. That was weird. Oh, and now we're lacking graves again. Okay. Yeah, how many are there? Um, two. Okay, let's build some more. More and more and more. Ta da. Storehouse is ready to use. Yeah, you are, of course, of course going to contain nuts because we have so many of them. Fine, fine. Now we're getting more and more wheat. Also remember that when you're threshing wheat, you get also straw. So that will help tremendously in the building and of course also in feeding your animals. Okay, let's get that one fixed guys. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We need to build more, more, more. More, more, more. Yep, time to add some more. Put it over here. So nice. Oh, and I need to assign it to the builders group, of course. Ta da! Altar is. Uh, ooh, look at that. Almost done. Why are you leaving? Oh, did you have enough? Really? You couldn't wait one day? You couldn't wait one day? What else? Yes, he has. He's frail. He is so weak. And he's incisive. So these are the things that made him leave. And of course, look at that. He has a horrendous combination. He has been sleeping by the fireplace. He has two of the worst traits you could possibly have in negative grade. And of course, he has a dead relative. So he reached his his point of no return he won't no more so yeah and probably some of his tribe members or his relatives 
are going to leave as well. So we might have our entire family leaving. They don't like that at all. They don't like losing members. So see, this one is really angry as well. Gosh, I need to get off these creeps. <laughs> they do not like that. You can see how bad any combination is. You will lose people, really. You can lose half your flipping tribe on combinations and they are so easily built as well. Lack of housing, lack of, of uh, graves. One tribe member leaves and the entire rest of the family are completely uh, in uproar. So yeah, so we might lose a few more due to that, but uh, it is uh, a risk I was willing to take because not having enough graves and lacking housing is kind of asking for a combination to be built. So do as I say, not as I do. Okay? Okay. So this one is almost done. That means that they can pray and get more appeasement. But I also need them to be quicker with building those graves. I put them on max. So they are going to sort them, of course. And we have plenty of stones, so that is not an issue. Yeah. How many? Oh no, they have managed to find graves. That's good. So some of the combination is, is soothed, but not everything, of course. And <coughs> so we lost the uh, first one then, who got fed up, and then one of the family members decided to follow him but now we are so many people that my game is actually starting to lag a bit during skip night speeds <laughs> so i might have to calm down the speed to not have it lag so this is one of the things uh, even though you have i have a great computer and a fabulous graphics card i have a 4080 rtx and a really big computer for exactly these types of games testing them out uh, you will still have uh, to get more optimization done in the game when your tribe is as big as mine. You have 246 people with lots of things built. Um, so there will be some lag, especially me who likes to play on max graphic to have a better pictures. So I'm kind of asking for trouble by playing the way I do, but hey, I'll accept it. And I do want high speed. I need it to be fast. Okay, so they're about to start um, tilling again. This is good. So let me see. How is this one doing? Uh, what are you lacking? Rope. Oh, I see. Yeah. Let's have more people, more rope. Head out. You can just go ahead and make 40 immediately. There you go. Uh, how many, we have 46 of those. How many farms do we have? 42. We have 50 farmers. So that means we should perhaps make a few more. Because some of these will be taken by others as well. Although they should really go with their own tools, which are better suited for fishing and hunting. But they also go for things depending on how far away they are. So there's that as well to consider. There are many factors playing a part in why people do the, the way they do things and stuff like that. Why they do what they do. A lot of factors that you don't really need to get into. You will learn it as you play. You will learn to recognize why people do the things they do via either tribe conditions, policies, environment, traits, etc, etc. Right, we are year 10, we have livestock, we have a self-sustainable livestock of, of the goats, that is for sure, so, and we have a good amount of milk and we also have a good amount of cheese being made and of course we have bread, uh, we have fish coming in, we have raw meat, we have slaughtering options with regards to both wild and domestic animals 
We have secured all our farmland, which we really should get done quicker than I did. And we also have secured the feeding area for our livestock and granted them both human food and also straw. Um, so the important part now for anyone who wants to know how to play it more correct than me than I have done at the moment is to start quicker to get up housing. It doesn't matter what type as long as there is enough for everyone. So what you do, you just place as you get stuff. You don't have to wait like I do to get the better housing. Uh, I would not play like this on hardcore at all. I would not uh, risk it. I would just go directly for whatever I could build at all times. So there's that. I'm going to make a group that will make straw, sorry, rope only because uh, that is the only thing they are lacking. Yeah, get some action now. Let's see. Yeah, so they are well on their way with planting. So have your breakfast guys and go to work please. I'm choosing to never up the work hours because we are managing without one goat. Oh god, I really need to start. I'm going to reject the I can't reject the goat. <laughs> I tried. I tried to reject. I didn't win. The goat won me over. How can you say no to animals? Come on. They're so cute when they're small. Look at the uh, the wild herbivores roaming around. What are you guys lacking? People are still fighting over the uh, the wooden spears, but we have more incoming. Too nice. Ooh, the altar is almost done. Look, 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 look. We can basically chill on the stone gathering. Let's see. You guys can have a limit on 500. Ta da! These are the sheep. I think they like being close to us. Because there's food over here, isn't it? If I go get some, some straw. Look how many siblings he has. Let me see, it's um, eating time. Yeah, plenty of food, that's good, that's great. I'm going to add more housing. I'm going to add housing for the others in the tribe to, uh, to build. gonna do these I'm gonna see if I can sneak them somewhere nobody wants to live next to a graveyard so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna place them further away over here instead we have four ropes okay I might have to wait a bit I'm gonna do them one by one then so I'm just gonna put them on pause Till we have enough ropes because we do not at the moment because these has just helped themselves to ropes let's see if we can see the longhouse yet oh we can Ta -da! look 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 
this is the one we ultimately want. It can house 14 people, so it's much more economical to do, but we lack quite a bit of woodwork to get it done. So yeah, yep, yep, yep. But we have quite a bit of woodwork skills that can be done with all the repairs of the fences, for instance. But these fences are so quickly repaired that if we want to um, increase woodworking more than this, we should really go for the more expensive fencing, such as the wattle fence, because that is definitely going to to increase in your woodworking skills and also, of course, the palisade. And even these will also increase more than these uh, cheap fencings. Yeah, so that is a way to do it if you would like to uh, be quicker to get more skills. No guarantees though, because it is random who learns new stuff, who improves tribe uh, skills, and also random what the migrants are bringing with them of skills. So it's nothing that we as players can control. But of course, we are supposed to create tasks for our younger generations to learn skills. So that is exactly what we are doing. And it is congruent as well. How are we doing? Oh, that one is done already. Yeah, great. Oh, see Daisy, that's fantastic. So when we have enough ropes, we're going to make more housing because we now have seven ropes. We need 10, 10 for these. So, yeah, we're going to wait for that. How are we doing with graves? We still have graves. I'm just going to go quickly check. Okay, one grave. I'm not going to wait around. I'm going to build more. Oops. Oh, okay, that was a very bad plant. <laughs> just chuck it down. There you go, a ton more. That should do it. Oh, those mine? No. These are wild cattle. These are aurochs. Damn, look at the size of them. They are so many as well. Look at the size of that one. Dude, he's big. Dude. Yeah. No joke. Well, it's a good thing they can't enter the farmlands, otherwise... They'll... Oh, how did you guys get in? Oh, I think I know. Some of the, the uh, fencing needed repairs. So they snuck in. While the fences needed repairs. Dude, that is not good. That is not good. Well, oh my word! <laughs> Heck yeah! Party! Party of five million ghosts! I will take five million ghosts! Right, let me see. Let's add them to the madhouse. There you go. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! That was it, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh no, there was one there. Oh, there. We started wandering off quite early, didn't we? Wanted no part of the others. <laughs> okay, then. There you go. It's nice. There you go. Time to max out the builders because they have gotten quite a bit of responsibility now. They have a lot to do. Hopefully my hunters will take care of those animals that have been locked in here. Because of course, when when you have repaired the fences that they came in through, they can't get back out again, so they are caught. They are captured, you know. So it is what it is. So it's important to get your fencing repaired quickly. Uh, we have 14, that means I can start opening these. This one will be taken in the morning, started on by the uh, tribe. You see, they need to clear 24 cells first before they can start the actual building, which is fine, absolutely. 
Look at that. Morning breakfast. Everybody's feeding. <laughs> Everybody's getting food. <clears throat> okay, so... Yeah, so we do have the entire tutorial covered, of course, and of course also deepened into some of the areas where the tutorial is not very um, explanatory, self-explanatory. A lot of the things that happens in the game uh, really could do with uh, some better explanation and more in-depth, detailed explanation. But the thing is, Ancient Cities is so intelligent, there is so much going on that the tutorial will basically be an entire flipping movie but um, the devs are going to make a fully audio um, tutorial and I have agreed to do it for them I just need to get the proper um, guidance about exactly what it is that they want so this is going to be a cooperation between me and my editor, of course, and of course them and their editors, of course, and sound technicians. So I probably have to not cackle and laugh, but sound very serious and have a proper presenter voice instead of just cackling along like I normally do. But uh, yeah, that's going to be really fun and it will probably be done sometime after main release because there's no flipping way there's time to do that now because we have so much that we need to get done in order to um, get release around the date that has been set for it. Um, the devs have been working really hard and to be honest so have the testers as well. Not a lot of free time to get stuff done in time and um, luckily we are almost on track. I think we might be a day or so perhaps a bit more over time but we will see with the devs you never know suddenly tomorrow I get to test both trading and raiding at the same time and if I work 24 7 <laughs> we might be able to have it all tested within a few days yeah <laughs> guys you need to take care of these guys they are eating up my crops <laughs> do it so how are we for these? Uh, we have 11. Yeah, do the next. Next hut. Go, go, go. More migrants. Oh. I can't help it. <laughs> I accept everything. Oh, I'm an addict. I'm an addict. I'm a migrant addict. Oh my goodness. I need to go to anonymous migrants. <laughs> <laughs> Migrants Anonymous <laughs> to sort my addiction. Nah, I wouldn't do that on hardcore. I would be much more strict on hardcore, of course. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of just uh, playing loosely because it is beginners. But um, of course, if you can get away with it, no problem. If you can't, then you need to change methods. Which, of course, you need to do if you are going to play either expert or most certainly if you're going to play hardcore. Because comfort is number one. After food, of course. Yeah. So we still have quite high lack in housing. We just need to keep building and keep building. You see now the raid leader, or raid leader. That's me thinking about World of Warcraft. Now the, tri the tribe leader is so old that uh, all the restrictions have been placed on default, which is the absolute max of what the tribe leader will place any restrictions on. Um, regarding some of the policies, for instance, the communal tasks, there is uh, no real need. Oh, wait, our altar is done. Yay! There is no real need to change that. If you are struggling a little bit with uh, workforce, and specifically if you are having your uh, farms in tribe responsibility above using farming groups, then you can put the communal tasks higher, meaning more people will do communal tasks, which the tribe then will see as their farmland which is then a communal task you can put it higher 
to get more people to do the farms. If you want more people to focus on the tasks that you have in the groups, then you put it more to the left, which means that there will be less people to do far more do the, the communal tasks and more people to do the tasks in the groups. Oh, look at that leader. Dang, look at his charisma. Crikey. Yep, maxing out the work age. Most certainly. Most definitely what I'm doing. No doubt about that. Yeah. So we have 268 people. <laughs> 268 people, that's insane. Right, so, um, yeah, so that was also the the last point on the policy that you need to be aware of. I rarely change these from default, which is equally shared uh, workforce between communal tasks and group tasks. But you can uh, play around with it and see what works best for you based on the decisions you make about your tribe, of course. No tribe is necessarily the same, so just keep that in mind. Okay, we're getting plenty uh, of the the ropes made now so I'm going to give my builders more work as well they are going to make more of the roundhouses so and we're gonna place that one there and tribe is going to take care of this one how are we doing with planks we could create a few more I think yeah it's broken because I paused it so it's not being repaired either Ta -da. Uh, why am I still increasing in uh, stones I made other people do stones as well didn't I I'm gonna take that away I think I did maybe I didn't no no I didn't I thought I had Yeah, so we covered the uh, the tutorial, plus plus, covered it well, plus plus. Look at the animals, love all the animals. Yeah. quite a bit of uh, cultivated food which means we can chill on everything else look at the pine nuts look at the pine nuts <laughs> they're absolutely bonkers on those yeah they definitely need to be chilled on come on <laughs> they can have 200 because most of them will be eaten by the livestock you don't need to gather those at all <laughs> yeah you guys don't need to gather them either just leave them but to help out uh, the hunters and stuff to get the uh, the raw meat so we don't waste anything you shouldn't put limits on raw meat ever because if you don't pick it up from the wild it will rot, no, rot away anyway where it lies so just we'll take it to camp and let people eat it before it rots away yeah makes sense so um, I am definitely going to make a hardcore playthrough as well and I'm going to start in 10k BC and then move further and further down south in Europe because now the uh, changes that they have made to the size of the regional map means we can migrate from country to country to country. So I'm going to do that. It will be a few days because tomorrow I am getting a new patch that I need to go through, um, test uh, like mad. It will be both trading and raiding in one go. So it's going to be a lot of things that uh, I need to go through. But uh, after that, I will spend a few hours to do the hardcore playthrough. I might do it in sessions, depending on how long it's going to take, but I will do it on fast. I just don't have the patience to play on slow. I think I need things to go fast. Yeah, I'm sorry. But of course, if you want to play slow, go for it. You do exactly as you see fit. You just need to remember that when you play slow, you have three days per month. When you play normal speed, you have two days per month. And when you play fast, you only have one day per month. 
So whatever needs doing, you need to use more workforce to get it done in time. Otherwise, you will be too late. So that is the thing with fast that is not a good thing. So if you like to play slow and take your time to do things, play on slow game speed. Okay, so how are we doing for graves? Yeah, plenty graves. I hope. <laughs> plenty graves, I hope. Look at the uh, lagging now. It's getting a bit bad, isn't it? But yeah, I'm kind of asking for it, having an insane amount of people. <laughs> Let me see, we have tons of rope. Yep, time to. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Place down some more huts. We could probably do two at the time. Just let uh, tribe deal with it. Because there would be plenty free people in the tribe to deal with it. Yeah, just let them work in peace to get that done. And we're also starting uh, tilling season very soon in January. And let them work with that. Look at all the wild animals. <laughs> so many wild animals. I know. Don't say anything. <laughs> I have to take them. <laughs> My migrant addiction. One and two. One and two. Um, okay, so uh, your livestock uh, can also eat most of the foods that you can eat. So if you are low on straw, they will always be okay with eating some of your other foods as well. You don't have to have only straw for your herbivores. They can eat some of the fruits and the nuts as well. That is completely fine. I'm going to uh, place down some more um, storages, but not the um, the pits. I'm going to place down these to get a few more um, places to put some of the crops. That is too much of for the current uh, storages. Let me just get those up and going. Yeah, because we do have the clay for it and we also of course have the planks for it so I'm going to pause this one again because we already have more than enough of the planks that we need I'm just terrified of building combo again having an entire family leave because they didn't have a grave and because they have to sleep by the fireplace asking for problems that's what that is Are they done building those two already? They are. So yeah, that's good. Okay, some con containers are done. So let's uh, put them on neutral priority and give them some of the uh, crop produce. Yeah.
We have 57 goats. We have 58 goats. Guys, look at the amount of goats we have. It's insane. <laughs> oh, crikey, little things. Not exaggerating in the slightest. They have a cow. I can't say no to a cow. How can anyone say no to a cow? They are so cute. And they taste good. Ish. They taste good ish. I don't particularly like meat anyway. So there. Okie dokie. So uh, let's see. That one is in the process of being finished, isn't it? Just lacking a plank or two. Almost, yeah. Like two mud and a few planks. <clears throat> so um, let's place down some more huts for the tribe to take care of. That should do it. And then we should chill on the building because we are running low on straw. And we need to make sure that our livestock is fed until the grass is green again. Yeah, and I'm ready to build or ready to be assigned food. So I'm going to assign the peas. So then we have extra storage for some of the crop foods that are in, in high amounts. So yeah, I think we are okay on the farm front. Uh, we are probably relying a little bit too much on the wild produce for being a Neolithic sedentary tribe. But uh, we can do it. You know, you can get away with it. On beginners, it, it is fairly forgiving, so I'm not too worried. If it gets too little produce, we could always migrate and just take with us all the leather and all the fine sticks and everything we have created. But of course, we're leaving behind the altar you know actually I'm going to delete the Neolithic offerings where did I put them I can't even remember where I put them so I need to go find them in the list not in housing not in production not in service but in religion you are going and you are going so that means that they will always go to this one you can see they're placing their own stuff on top of it their own offerings and gifts to the gods that they are worshipping can't say no to pigs. Come on, guys. Not gonna happen. Pigs are always welcome. Pigs are so cute. You, you. There you go. Look at all the goats. Look at. <laughs> I love that. There's no way you're gonna have this on expert or hardcore. You're barely gonna have anything on hardcore. You're being so flipping punished. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, this is the only place you will get that amount so easily. Absolutely. And there is no way you can keep 300 people alive in hardcore. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay. So um, we have enough planks. We do, we do, we do. So we're going to leave the mill, the lumber mill um, paused for a bit. Look, we have cheese, we have bread, we have so much nice food. Uh, we just need to get our bums in gear and create enough housing for everyone. That's basically what we need to do. I can also place down, no, that's the wrong one. Place down another of these. Let's get that done. Sun, so lace. Ta -da. We can in theory also create more ovens or give these a higher priority because you can see some of the the wheat could do with being used up but I think they might be locked in this one so I'm going to take it down a notch there yep I'm 
going to increase the uh, sticks they're going to come home with. You're fine. You guys are going to come home with more. Ta-da. And I'm going to add another haystack. You can basically just add it over here. Ta-da. We have a lot of people not working though because there is basically nothing for them to do there's nothing to do and i have maxed out the groups so yeah i could give more th stuff for more people to the farmers i guess build more farms but that will be a waste because we already have enough food as it is i'll just give them a bit more people that means they're quicker done, isn't it? Quick, more quickly done. Yo. You could probably get away with doing 150 now. Um, you don't need to be three. You are fine the way you are, aren't you? You have 32. Okay, you can get a bit more then. Get two more people. Get up the speed on the... Make oh, goats. We need goats. <laughs> we need goats, guys. We only have 100. We have 61. <laughs> Look, there are the strawberries. See? Strawberries. Yeah. Let me see. Where is my herd of group? I might have to make another herder group because I think these might be overworked. <laughs> might be a smidgen overworked. Okay. So if I get more now, I think I have to place them in another group because there's so much work for these. They are <laughs> I'm sure I'm losing some of the milk as well. Well, maybe not, but... Uh, yeah. always lacking graves oh okay and suddenly there were graves sure <laughs> okay how are we doing here yeah Get these repaired yep oh does this mean we're going to get more animals coming in yeah there you go as soon as they turn yellow and red, animals can sneak in. So, yeah, that's what it is. I mean, you're lacking three. Yeah, it will be open soon. Yep. doing yeah so they can still graze out in the wild it's only the pigs that needs to be fed i'll take the cattle 
Can do. Just let me get them into the herder group. Son, ta-da. away yeah that's fine okay so we had enough recirculation on these to to get graves oh I lack one that's not good where is it Sorry, I didn't, didn't see you there. I didn't see you, little fella. There you go. Now you can go to your mum and dada. There you go. So nice. Oh. <laughs> and now we lack graves again. And more goats. Oh my goodness. Look at all the bad grades this dude has. This is it a girl? It's a girl. I am going. I'm, I'm rejecting. See? Are you proud of me? I rejected. There are so many horrible grades. Oh my goodness. And we have so many goats. Look at all the goats. <laughs> gonna have more bread incoming because they are threshing wheat and gathering peas as well that is good repair 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 no not in time Why are you testing me? Oh, she has increased. Uh, she has green in weaving, but look at her traits. She's feeble and indecisive. It's going to be a complainer. Oh, she is good. I, I have to take them. I just have to because they were so good on their grades. I'm never going to have enough housing for everyone if I keep doing this, am I? I will forever lack housing. <laughs> forever, forever. You and you. There you go. Look how many goats we have. <laughs> but in all fairness, we have been playing for 11 years. And two and a half thousand historical years. So it makes sense that we have managed to build up our, our livestock quite well, don't you think? But I want more housing. See how we're doing with graves. One, two, three available. Four. Okay, let's see if we can make that into the num max number we need. 
because now we have four and of course tons of elderly will start dying like flies. Probably should build more, shouldn't I? I think that's a good idea to do, to be honest. Oh, did we just get snow? Oh, that is so pretty. Look, 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 we have snow. That is only because we're so high up in the mountains in Spain. Otherwise, there is no way we would have any snow. No way. Okay, um, let's add a few more. There you go. Four more. I need the pigs. We need pigs, don't we? We need pigs. What I should do though is to make a one herder group for goats, one for cows and one for pigs, to be honest. Are you in our group? You are. So, might have to consider doing that. Now the um, livestock need to depend on us for food because there's no green grass for them anymore. There is no grazing going on. But how are we doing with, we can make more of these. So I will do that. One of these as well. That the tribe can build. something fun now <laughs> look at all those people <laughs> it's like never ending oh don't you can you can keep a very good overview if you go through your citizens you can see for instance this one is lacking a grave where is she she needs to be buried yeah there she is undignified death next to a hut come on guys get her into a grave please now they are normally very good and they do it as soon as work hours start so that's one that needs to be buried and it's only her it seems yeah that's good you can see those who are having babies they have a toddler and these with these symbols they are pregnant yeah Yep. <clears throat> chop, chop, get it built. They're really slow. If you look at the one, oh no, I thought it was that one, never mind. Everyone is slow. Well, not slow, slow, but uh, they have so much to do, don't they? Yeah, go eat. Look, some of the animals are hungry. But they will soon go feed themselves, they will soon go eat. see there is there is food they just need to go and help themselves maybe I should place down some more hay feeders as well I think I'm gonna do that I think 
that's a good idea actually. So we have enough farmlands, we have plenty livestock, we still lack housing and I keep getting tempted by migrants. Ugh. I will never be able to get enough housing for these people. So, But when I reach 300 I'm going to stop accepting because I think I've been uh, pushing too much limits now. So I need to chill a bit on this, seriously. How many pigs did we get? I can't recall, let me see. Are there any waywards? No, there's not. Okay, they're all in. I heard a group. So that's good. Yeah, so I think we've gone over most of the things that are important and uh, whatever I have not covered, uh, you new players, you will find out a lot, a lot more on your own and also because the tribes are not necessarily all the same. So you will discover that some tribes are needing different methods to, to be used to make them thrive and to work well. Um, basically, there's a lot of factors playing a part in why things are the way they are and you will just have to, to figure out a lot of these things yourself because people are individual in your tribe. So, yeah, it's a, a very intelligent game, a rich, deep game. So how are you guys doing with the... Yeah, you're done. Good, good, good. And... I can't say no to cows. Here we go. Can't say no to anything. Now I've told myself now I'm going to say no to whatever comes when I reach 300 population because then I think I've pushed the game a little bit too far because the optimization is, um, or the lack thereof, is making it difficult to keep going. Uh, the sleep nights, the skip nights are very lagged for me. But the rest is fine. You can see I'm playing on max speed and everything is just smooth. It's just the, the, the skip nights are insanely fast and it takes a little bit before the game catches up with me or me catching up with the game, whichever way it works, really. Yeah. Look at them going. Oh yeah, that one is done building as well. That's good. At least we have more sleeping spots. We're almost at 300 now, guys. Almost 300 population. So yeah. But you can see the optimization issue only shows itself uh, when you have the skip nights. Otherwise, it's totally fine. Um, a bit low frames. I normally have between 40 and 60 with my graphics card, but uh, it's going down, sinking down to like uh, skip nights. It's like four frames per second. It's quite insane. Uh, oh, what do you have? That is a lot of increased hunting. I have to take this and now I can only accept six more people. Stopping at 300. There you go. Now we're really getting a lot of uh, of far, um, domestic animals. You can see we have so many that we are basically self-sustained now with animals. 
Um, so we can probably uh, just decline everything from now on. I think we are all right. Let's see <clears throat> how many are pregnant. Goats. Yeah. Well, the pregnancy is not insane, which is a good thing. Because we can't have insane pregnancies. I mean, seriously. Let me see how we're doing. Yeah, no, we need because um, so now the livestock can feed itself, except of course the boars. No, the boars, the pigs. They will still need to eat from our food. Yeah, which is fine. We can do that. We also need to remember with livestock that you need to be able to feed them. You know, if you go out of food, your livestock will starve, and then they will just die. So at least you will strip them for the meat and the skin and the bones, of course. But uh, if it's a female in reproductive age dying, it is a loss. So we need to also consider that the animals you take in need to be fed. If you cannot feed whatever population you have or both humans and livestock, do not take in more humans or livestock. Yeah, so you just use that as a rule of thumb. Can you feed them? Sure, take them. Can you not feed them? Don't take them. Are you doubting you can feed them? Don't take them. When in doubt, do not accept migrants. It's, it's okay to have that kind of uh, rule of thumb because if you, if you take in too much, you will have death and decay on both humans and animals. So there's, there's basically no point. Just keep that in mind. Okay, let's see how we're doing with the, uh, yeah. You guys are probably gonna be okay with more people. We'll probably add some more pelt huts as well, although they don't particularly like it. But it is better than sleeping in the open. So here goes nothing. We can do two for now. A bit more sleeping spots. We are low on straw, so I'm going to wait with building more till we have more straw in the camp. Plenty food for the frogs, so almost said. Plenty food for the frogs. <laughs> Plenty food for the pigs. <laughs> oh, we could become French, you know, and domesticate frogs for their frog legs. Yeah, French delicacy. Yeah, I'll pass on that. <laughs> 
I'll pass on most meat, to be honest. But there you go. <laughs> We're all different. <laughs> different tastes. Oh, keep an eye on the graves. We need to make sure that we have enough. How many people? 296. If I accept this one, then I cannot accept any more. Because we are one that is pregnant, meaning we will be 300 as soon as she gives birth. Okay. There you go. And 300 population. That means that now we are not going to take in more migrants. Because we have so many people. Oh, that was hard to do. to get the wheat in. Oh yeah, there's plenty of food, that's for sure. Oh, she's growing old, yep. A lot of, peop a lot of people not working, a lot of people not working, seriously. Almost a third of my population is not working. Oh, he's going down a bit, a little bit up and down it seems. Graves. We do three, three available. We should be in an okay recycle now. Recycle cycle. I hope. Now we just need to see if we can sustain an okay livestock population. The thing is, um, you can accept every other migrant that will increase a dwindling livestock population, but of course you will also get the people with it. So you can't just accept the animals and then reject the humans. You have to take both groups. You have to take both the humans and of course also then get the livestock. So yeah. It's a little bit of a balancing act. You have to balance out a little bit um, with regards to, to the dwindling or the increase of, of livestock. If you see that the numbers are going down and down, 
then of course you should accept more livestock. But if you see that you're maintaining an okay size, plus minus, up and down, dip, and then build up again, you are kind of set with a sustainable uh, amount of livestock. And poof, we were out of graves again. Seriously? And then we had graves again, because one just came free. Okay. Okay then. <laughs> so. It is what it is. And another one has died. That means we will lack a grave. We have so many old old people, I think we're gonna need more graves no matter. We could of course have built a passage tomb at the moment, but we are so busy, I just can't find the time to do it. I can't find the workforce to, to use on the project. I don't want to spend any of my gathering group to get the uh, stones, because we are desperately in need of, of straw and uh, to keep food, to, to keep the livestock alive, basically. Now we're lacking a few more graves. We're lacking three. Let's see how many of these are being recirculated. Not too many. So you see my goat population has gone down a bit. It was 60 something. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait to see how low it dwindles first. If it goes too far down, then we just accept more goats. But of course, yeah, you have to accept the humans too. So I think uh, playing with 300 should be the absolute max because the optimization is just not made for so many people. But of course, I have to push limits and play it in a way I really shouldn't play because that's how I do things. It's just, yeah, I like to push things, <laughs> I have to push. So yeah, sorry, cannot fit you guys in. You have to go to the next tribe along, I'm sorry. I wouldn't have minded your goats though, but hey. Let's see, how are you guys doing with the pelt huts? We can place down more, I think. How many fine sticks do we have? Only 20, I'm gonna wait a bit then. So, yeah, we just need to chill on the building. It's almost time to start tilling as well. Yeah. January is when they will start doing the tilling of the wheat and also shortly followed by basically all the others. So that's what you get on fast. There's no breathing space at all. Everything needs to be done. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> But that's fine, we can deal with that. It would be weird to play for so many years and not have any ups and downs. That would be fairly boring, in my opinion. It's good to have a bit of challenge. Okay, so we have a few open graves. Still lack three tombs and we are building four more. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Fine and dandy.
That's how many, look how many older people I have. 90, seriously? I can just as well build another 14 graves. Oh, we can create long houses. Oh my God. That's what I'm going to do. Exactly what I'm going to do. Ta-da. This is what we're going to need to build a long house. We need a lot of stuff to build a long house. But we are going to build a long house, just saying. Just saying. See, what else do we need? We need 84 logs. We have 19, so we need to add a few more choppers. What else do we need? We need 1500 mud, yeah, 100 ropes, 600 straw, yes, we can do that. Uh, 80 wood planks, yeah, can do that as well. Yeah, so now we just need to do, -do. But I really need to get sorted the graves, otherwise people will start leaving because they get so annoyed when there are not enough graves for their dead loved ones. It's just not okay. They are so annoyed. Building unrest combos and then poof, half the tribe is gone because one is in family with the other and the other is in family with the next one and the next one. So it's really, really like a, a proper avalanche of leaving when so many families are infiltrated with each other. Sorry. Yeah. Should I build more wheat farms to get more straw? I also need to have workforce for it. No, I think I'm going to leave it as is. Okay, so there is eight more incoming, so we just have to be patient and wait for people to, to build the graves. <coughs> now people are really busy here, doing the farms plus plus. But we should have enough people to get in more of the, the uh, straw and to maintain um, food on a level where nobody needs to to starve And the planks, we need 80. We have 52. Yeah. See what they're doing with the... Uh... Okay. 
They are making planks by chucking in wedges. Wedges. You can see the wedges are sticking out, and this is how they used to do it. They separated each section with wedges in a straight line. Oh, there you go. Look, we have planks. Dude, you wanted to make planks. Chill on the banging, please. There you go. <laughs> That looks fun. No wonder they're all doing it. So luckily we had a, a huge pile of mud right next to where we are camping. Where our camp is, so we have plenty mud to use. Right. Righty, righty, righty ho. But we need 600 straw, so... Yeah. We need all hands on the straw. I wonder if I should build more of the uh, cheese stations, dairy stations, because we have a lot of milk, so we probably need more stations to uh, process the milk into uh, cheese. hope we are on top of the uh, the graves now the recirculation of them we could probably make more ovens as well but I want to save the uh, the mud for the long house and you ladies are going to build it now my question is should we go up here and see if we can find a spot to build the long house it might actually be too steep we might not manage it let's have a look yeah oh what a pity what a pity is that what oh did I find a small spot there? Can I turn it more? No, I cannot. We can do this. See? Where are those? Oh yeah, okay. Is it too far for them? Yeah, you nay. They should really have a fireplace on their own, of their own, shouldn't they? luxury but we still lack quite a few logs so maybe it was a bit premature I'm gonna pause it oh right next to some nice rose bushes as well sure Sure, sure, sure. So it's going to be a long, a long house up in the hills. That's quite cool, actually. Sorry. I have to decline you. Let me see. Uh, six wood choppers. How many ropes do we have? 52. That's fine. Mm. 
you could probably get some extra people. I think we should uh, perhaps add some more wheat farms, to be honest. Get more straw. Also make uh, make fencing around it. Let me see how much uh, sticks do we have. Plenty sticks, and we're not in the middle of planting, so we can steal some people to take care of the fencing. Yes, I think it was a better idea to allocate the um, longhouse to the tribe because that means more people will be able to, to build it instead of just 14 in the builder group. Because they are definitely busy as is. <laughs> they are very busy. <laughs> At least we are finally on top of the graves at least. Are we though? Are we though? One, two. Yeah, we have several graves available. We should be alright. Eight. Ten at the moment. Right, I think we finally found the balance on the graves, but we shall soon find out if that's the case or not. Sorry, I have to decline you. I cannot push the game any more than I already have. Okay, so we're on top of all repairs. That's good. Yeah, we just need to create a few more. You also will, of course, be tied out. So we get more... Um, of the straw. Right, shall we start this? Let's do it. Now we basically just watch them build. I am going to create a haystack so that some of the produce is basically next to where it needs to be for repairs. 
yeah and normally the um the long houses have log stores in them they are built with log stores so let's just see if this one has one or two But yeah, we have um, reached everything that can be built. Everything is available to us. Yeah, so we have the option to build absolutely everything, which is great. building this is going to take a little bit of time the good thing about long hours it takes it can take 14 people so it's so much more economical to have long houses instead of a million store huts that can only take six so ideally we should swap out all the big straw huts with long houses as we go along but they do take a lot of resources and they do take quite a long time to build the haystack ready to use that's good so now they are placing the logs there will be a short a few logs so we have to wait for the choppers to get more logs but that's fine the uh, goat population is uh, going a little bit down and down so if there is a migrant group now that has uh, some goats especially females I will probably accept those we are also quite a bit below 300 because we have so many elder people that are dying like flies that's what you get that is definitely what you get Getting there, getting there. Yeah, we will have enough uh, logs for this, that's for sure. Oh, snow. Fog and stuff. Oh, a new leader. Let's see what they are offering us. Sure. I'll have more people to work. <laughs> always, always, always. Look at all the old people dying. So many old people dying. Um, no, I think I'll pass on you.
we are now in December, so next month they are also going to start doing the tilling again and planting. So a lot of the workforce will then be be lost to the farms, which is totally fine. It's as, as expected. Okay, so we have plenty logs. I'm going to take down the choppers again. To a more normal size. There you go. And wood planks are, oops, 98, that's too much, so I'm going to pause them. You guys taking a break? There you go. What else do we need? Um, now we need 1500 mud, yeah, we're almost there, and we still need to make a few more ropes, because we have 83 and we need 100. Yep. Yeah, the building is going steady. Let's have a look at look how how all the all the old people dying. But that's fine. I, we don't have to be three hundred, you know. Let's just take what will benefit us and leave the rest. Do you have an increase? You have, you have increase in food processing, and you have increase in both. I'm going to take those two, because they will increase tribe skill levels, and those will always be welcome. And we are well below 300, so yeah. I would like to make a wood trail as well, so I'm going to add a few more choppers so we can get extra wood. Okay, so this place had two log storages. So the longhouse comes with these. You can see that it belongs to the longhouse when you are clicking the log stores. It's getting along, isn't it? Bit by bit. They are doing the mud now. Yeah, and then the hammer drop do we have? 78. Okay, so some has been used to repair items, which is uh, fine and dandy. As expected. So the animals need to be fed now because we have a no grazing sign but we have enough food to feed them so I'm not worried about that but this one does take 600 straw so yeah down on the uh, on the mud now because we are only going to build one long house
Yeah, they're finishing with the, the mod now. As you can see the progress. more to make sure that we get a hundred oh we're halfway done with the mug so building the walls now need to make sure that we've actually found the balance which we seem to have done which is uh, always good and closer and closer and closer we almost have 100 drops as well now this is quite a project you know it, it takes a lot of materials A lot of the things that was added in the hotfixes does not have a, you know, a video explanation of what the hotfixes contain. But of course, the, the big things that came with the hot game balance hotfix was the, the, of course, difficulties and, and the different game speeds. So basically, all types of players should have their wants covered. So if you are a strong player, you can easily go to Hardcore and get the challenge you're looking for. If you want an easy game and a place to learn, this is where you should go. And if you just want a normal game, no stress, not too easy, not too hard, just go normal. You know, there are options for everyone. <clears throat> if you think the game is too slow, play them fast. Look at us, poof. We are already in Iron Age. <laughs> Let's have a look at you. We have 290. Uh, he has nothing. She has nothing. I'm going to decline these. None of them had anything to offer. It's going to be difficult to, to find migrants that actually has anything to offer now because we are so high on all our knowledges. But uh, I, I need to keep an eye on the animals so they don't drop too low. So they're basically dying out. I don't want that. Okay, so now we are on the ropes, it seems. Yeah, good, good. And after that, we'll be on the straw. We are going low on straw. So we'll just have to, to wait around till they've gotten enough straw gathered. But of course, the animals are now feeding by themselves, except the pigs, of course. They will always need feeding from you. Yeah. We are looking good, girls. It's 
So we basically played through from the default Neolithic timeline and we've gotten the option to build absolutely everything that the game has in this time. So I don't think anyone can come and tell me that the game is too slow or that you don't get stuff fast enough. Because you do. You do. I have just proven it. <laughs> I've just proven it. <laughs> and you can also push limits and still succeed. So there. But when you have 300 people, it's certainly challenging enough to keep everyone happy and, and well fed and yeah look at all the graves <laughs> the of graves seriously oh dude it's now we are just needing a ton of straw Bit by bit. Let's have a look at you guys, see if you got anything. Yeah, you actually have agriculture. And you have hunting. I have to take these because they are increasing tribe knowledge. Quite a bit on agriculture actually, which is great. Which means that my people will be quicker done with all the farms, which is just like a lily ordered. So there is going to be a small lack on straw, but we have placed down some extra farmlands for wheat. So we should be fairly okay covered, but we do have basically the utter majority of our huts need straw for maintenance. The animals need straw to be fed. We only have a few of these lesser housings, like these uh, peltas, but besides that, everything else needs straw. So this is, this is a little bit insane to do, because you can see by the river that we have plenty, we have plenty reed up and down the walls, plus you also get reed from tall grass. So I could have played a bit smarter and not only had straw. So you can see that the, the big reed hut is actually still plus eight while the straw hut is now down to minus three so i'm not doing my my people a favor so uh, what i should do is to um, demolish some of these as i build uh, more reed huts reed huts are more expensive but at least you are dividing the materials you need to maintain your housing which is always always a smart thing to do when you are struggling to keep only one type of uh, repair material in camp all the time there are so many things that is competing to get the straw that it is kind of like a life and death race on a daily basis to have enough so that is something that can be done if you have a lot of straw buildings and you see that they are going uh, giving miners then it's time to swap them out with for instance a few reed few reed buildings totally okay totally fine we are getting there let's have a look at you guys what do you have no no and no, I'm going to reject you. Please go to the next farm along. Why are you unhappy? <gasps> I hate to sleep in the open. You have people sleeping in the open still? Wah! Wah! Let's build some uh, health huts. That's better than kicking the teeth and it's different material. So that's fine. They don't have to be perfectly aligned with anything. They should just be a bit further away from the quality housing that you want people to choose first. Yeah? Ta-da!
So there's not a lot of unhappy faces left in the tribe. There's only a, a handful, considering that we are almost 300. It's basically nothing, because they are uh, circulating so well on sleeping on the close by huts, which are very good quality. So, so that is um, quite fine. How long till this one is done though? Not far now, not far at all. Almost there, almost there. So they have a good view over the village, don't they? Nice view there. So let's see what you guys have to offer. No, I'll pass on you guys. My goats seem to be fairly steady, so I'm going to see if I can keep this up. I need to see if the uh, herders can actually keep up with the workload. I think they can. Yeah, it looks like they actually can. So I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. You can see my livestock is getting pre pregnant, but then again, they also live very short and fast, so uh, they need to be regularly having offspring, otherwise the population will dwindle, of course. Yeah. Ooh, almost there. So close to victory. Look at the view they have. That's quite good, isn't it? It's luxury. Oh, we are so close now, aren't we? Yeah, we have enough materials to build it. Just need to wait for it to be done. So we have basically played quite a few hours in real life time of course and I've of course played on fast as possible constantly but if you play it slow then you would of course spend days on, on doing the same as we have done in this playthrough. Um, I do like that you have the option to choose size of prey based on how many migrants you want to accept and also what type of animals you want to have domesticated in your tribe. Uh, what I don't like though that I think maybe could do a bit of, bit of changes is the option to um, choose perhaps the animals above the humans or the humans above the animals and single individuals as well but that might be a little bit too easy to do, too easy to manipulate, so I'm not sure how that will actually work out in the game. It might be too much uh, cherry picking going on, instead of accepting the randomness as it is. Yay, our log house is completed. Our long house is now done, and it can take 14, and it has plus 30 appeasement. Yep, this is good. But I also want something else done as well. I would like a wooden trail from this entrance and all the way down to the... Oops, it didn't like that, uh, that inkling at all, did it? Let's see. Just basically, 
machetes all the way down to the village. Let me see, we should probably go a different way to go past the graveyard. And then here, and then here, and here, and to the communal area here. That's quite nice, isn't it? That's a lot of wooden trails. <laughs> oh, gotta take four wooden planks. I need to activate the. Uh... <laughs> I need to activate the mill again. Go, go, go. Need a lot of wood planks. Flipsy <laughs> daisy. Because you don't need logs for the men anymore, you need the planks from the logs. So. <laughs> <laughs> that will take a little bit of time to get done but they are so eager on the uh, lumber mill that I'm not really super worried our first wooden trail is completed because they will happily work on the uh, lumber mill Yeah. Oh my goodness, are we gonna lack graves again? Are you serious? Maybe not. We need some some of them to open up soon, otherwise we will. Because we have 111 elderly. 111, that's insane. Oh, dude, and look, he's put down the uh, work age again. Yeah, yeah. I could probably um, open up for... Um, One of these two, no, it seems to be fine. They don't need more than what they have from us. I want to see if they actually run all the way up here to sleep in it. <laughs> like a, a holiday from away from home. It's so, such a far away from where the camp is. They are. They are running into it. <laughs> Yay, that's great. <laughs> well, they are certainly going to be happy sleeping in that one, that's for sure. I like the longhouse for sleeping. Yeah, you do. You also like cheese, yeah? <laughs> we kind of knew that already. <clears throat> Are you guys sleeping in? Yeah. So yeah, I think this um, this patch has enriched the game tremendously. I must I must admit that I really really fancied all the new animals, including the wild ones. We have both the aurochs and of course the rats. The rats we haven't really seen much too. They are small and annoying if you have low amounts of food and as soon as your storage facilities need a bit of repairs, they will be all over the food inside. So this is why it's so important to keep enough repair materials in camp all the time. Uh, so yeah, there needs to be a good control of income versus usage of all materials, especially in a large tribe. Um, people uh, get so entitled as well as the years go by they tolerate so little um, you can get away with a lot on beginners because you are supposed to have this level to learn and to basically have a free almost a sandbox uh, game 
So yeah, this is also the what I recommend to everyone who starts playing the game. Start on beginners and make all your mistakes and all your learnings here. Because you will need to sharpen your teeth a lot more for um, expert and certainly for hardcore. So if you want the high population and push the um, population limits, you should go beginners. If you want it really hard food wise and everything is punishing, you should go hardcore. But you won't have a high population. That's just not going to happen. There's just not enough food no matter what you do. And there's no way you can get enough population to to maintain 64 farmlands. It's just not going to happen. So yeah, there, there's a little bit for all tastes, to be honest. Of course, I'm going to push the hardcore limits because I want to see if I can reach 150 population there. But uh, time will tell. But I do know that the... the um, Optimization for me and my computer is max 300 because uh, skip nights is so lagged, it's like four frames per second at skip nights. Um, so, yeah, but uh, yeah, I actually really like this patch. I love that we can have these animals and we can milk them, we can get milk, we can get cheese, and we get a lot of meat, which of course will make your tribe happy because they love all fresh food i mean it's just like it is today we all love the fresh food it's yeah it's what we want so now we need to wait for all the wooden planks what are you doing you're crafting rope you went all the way up here to craft rope are you serious are you stupid yeah okay pardon me he's a bit slow there we see the reason so this is one of the things that personality traits can do, or the traits, uh, grades can can do to a person. <laughs> Talk about going over the creek to get water, eh? <laughs> Fine. Oh, let me see. Um, yeah, we are lacking wood planks. But we have enough logs, so we could probably chill on the logs a little bit. Probably go down to three, I think, and still be all right. Yeah, can do, can do. I'm just going to let the tribe work on their own and not uh, do anything because we seem to to have what we need. We have enough of the. Uh, oh, I should probably turn down the work hours because I can see there's a few that doesn't like that. Because I had them on for quite a while now, haven't I? So it's always smart to put them back down, to let people uh, catch their breath. What you see as well, if you don't accept any migrants and you have a lot of elder people, you will have a, a fairly big dip in population. And when you are up uh, to the size of population that I am, it's not a bad thing. Because it's, it's not, you know, ideal to have like 300 population when the optimization does not allow for it uh, and most people um, do not have the same graphics card as for instance i have where i can push quite a bit and still have very nice uh, smooth going so the the optimization still will need some work and i think the devs are working on it basically all the time to try to make it better i think um, maybe uh, we have to give up a little bit on the graphical beauty in order to get a better optimization. But uh, we will see how they sort because of course they are going to work on it continuously to, to make it better. But then again, we're not supposed to have half a million population either, you know. So uh, we might get a population cap. At the moment we have a cap, uh, but it's a soft cap. And also when you come to say 500 population, then you just can't get more people. That's just what they put. 500, then you will have no more pregnancies, no more nothing because, I mean, you can't run the game. When you have 500 population, you also have a million objects. So it's just gonna be complete chaos. It's not going to work. So we players must also use our head and our insight into how things actually work with computing and, and hardware and software, blah, blah, blah. 
and not just keep pushing and pushing although that's my favorite thing to do i really like the pushing yeah so so that it is what it is <laughs> yeah it's it's a good patch and we have so much to do now in game even on beginners you constantly have something to do you constantly have something you need to look after and change and adjust so look same amount of adults as we have elderly I'm leaving it as it is people are still happy it's amazing <laughs> Some of them have slept by the fireplace their entire lives. <laughs> They're still happy. Still okay. You know? <laughs> okay, so are we finally getting to where we need to be? No, no, no. Should I make another lumber mill? I wonder. Maybe I should. Maybe I should to get some speed going. Where did I put the other one? Is it over here? Somewhere? Where did I put it? Oh, that is, yeah. Um, I guess I can just place it anywhere, really. Yeah. Because they seem to be uh, either steadily growing or holding a steady um, amount. Um, so you can actually keep your livestock self-sustained if you have a certain amount of course you need a good balance between the males and the females but you do need uh, if you have a choice you should get more females than males because the males can father more than um, their partner's children which is quite common also with the humans especially if there's a lack of males so it's a kind of a system to make sure that you will have offspring no matter if you have few or many males so that is quite all right to know that there is that kind of system in place. Um, all the farms are tended to. So soon these will be ready and then we will get more of the wheat. You can see that the wheat could do with some more threshers because you can see they're almost going all the way on the rot. So I'm going to add a few more for the wheat and see if that will make sure that all the wheat gets threshed before the new batch comes in there you go so this is good Yeah, population has dropped quite a bit, but I'm not uh, going to accept more uh, migrants because I like it better when my game is not so lagged. Imagine that. Yeah. Good patch, I have to admit. I absolutely loved testing it. There was so much to do and uh, there wasn't that many things that needed to be adjusted, to be honest. Uh, they fairly much hit it spot on from the get-go so uh, this was a, a good uh, a good investment for sure uh, there are of course more things to come after release as well they are going to continue to to work on the um, the game of course adding new stuff and uh, course i can't wait to get the first downloadable content which will almost 100 percent certain be ice age roughly maybe 20,000 to 10,000 bc we shall see we'll get mammoths and stuff and of course new types of buildings other new types of animals new types of tools new uh, people the way they look etc etc new clothing you know everything will be added so this is going to be so fun I could probably build a few more pelt hearts better than sleeping in the open and get a few down can't harm at all can it 
go down. Okay, so the animals are grazing outdoors now, which they should. She woulda, coulda, shoulda. So the drop in <clears throat> in population is also part of uh, the avoidance of explosive population because um, before they implemented uh, a drop in birth rate um, with large tribes we had this insane explosive population that nobody could accommodate so it was a nightmare to keep those people alive because they just kept getting babies and babies and babies so it is better that you have a dip and then you can just increase your population with migrants instead and this is what I'm going to do I'm going to take these and then um, just uh, make sure that uh, my population does not drop too much because this is also why we still have quite an increased uh, migrant size coming and uh, with a high frequency to avoid that because it is better that we can um, reject accept migrants because uh, then we can control the population better because we cannot reject females being pregnant that is out of our control unless we keep them super unhappy then there will be less births of course less pregnancies but we don't want to do that because then they can leave can't they so it's a, it's an evil circle unless they they give us the option to um, to control a population a little bit better and they're doing it via the migrants. I'm quite satisfied with this to be honest. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Our um, livestock is uh, steadily growing or at least staying uh, stable without like room dropping like rocks, which is always good. Yeah, so I'm quite satisfied with that. Twenty-eight percent. Only twenty-eight percent is lacking now. The luxury. Oh wait, do I still have a hundred on ropes? I do. Oh my word. <laughs> I do, I do. That needs to go down to a manageable size. Christ. I believe I forgot about it. I did. I forgot about it. That means that you guys can chill out. Oh, we got a new leader. Oh, can't decrease the labor age. Pity. But how old are you? No, you're going to last a while, aren't you? Yeah. Okay then, it is what it is. Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> Having too few graves. Well, ain't that a surprise? <laughs> no, it's not a surprise. Not in the slightest. <laughs> oh, there's a space for you. And there's a space for you. Okay, so I think, no, no, I think we're okay. We got it, we got it. Now have people recuperated. They have, haven't they? Those who are complaining now are those who have the poor grades anyway. 
So yeah, this is fine. This is fine. I like the wood trail, it's really, really pretty. Okay, so it seems to be almost there from hand to mouth. <laughs> seems to be one comb becomes open and then one dies and one becomes open and oh no, there's one that needs to be interred. Okay, I might have to make some more. Oh no, there you go. There's an open, there you go, there's an open one there. And there. Okay. That's fine. There's so many left to do, there's so many left to do! I regret a little bit placing all down in one go, because it seems like uh, overwhelming amounts that needs to be done. And it kind of is, but when you're playing on fast, it will go fast as well. Oh, you got to be kidding me. What? Ten? Oh yeah, because look. A lot of my elder people have just keeled over. Yeah, I'm not surprised in the slightest. Let's get some more graves down. Oh, brothers. That's a lot of new graves, but we need it. Look, they have just placed them down in the graveyard, hoping to find a, 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 a spare grave for them. So in these instances, it is actually a better idea to basically just build a passage tomb. But we are so busy with so many people that uh, there's just not enough uh, time to gather all the stones that we need. Um, so yeah, it is this or nothing. But um, I don't recommend going as high a population as I did. I do recommend that you try to stay between 150 and max 200 because then you will have the time to make the position you will have enough workforce to actually manage to get the stones so i just pushed and pushed and pushed and accepted everything without any discrimination until my optimization was uh, starting to become a little bit annoying to be honest so yeah so now we know that if you have a good computer and a good graphics card you can go to 300 but with a price because you will have frame drops drastic frame drops uh, especially at skip night or if you're keeping the tribe super busy with a million objects on the map goes without saying so yeah i'm hoping the optimization will be sorting some of these um, frame drop issues because they are rather unattractive i have to admit uh, but I'm so in love with the game itself that, uh, yeah, I just keep pushing and see what I can manage. Uh, 
Come on guys, finish the graves. We have so many people that are waiting for a grave. I don't want people to, to leave the trial the tribe because of it. But they are really good with, with burying people in time. If there is a grave that is open and people die, they will immediately, as soon as work hours set in, they will go pick up this uh, deceased loved one and then bury it with a small ritual. I think that is decent, yeah? That the priority is so high on burying people. So there's another one that can be buried now. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's the issue with having too few too few of either fishermen or hunters. Yep. Or having too little woodworking going on. Yeah, but they will be back. Will come back. I'm not too worried. It was the fishing and also the leather work because you, you just don't do enough, do you, when it's about this? Because you don't have main income hunt from from wild animals. You don't do constant leather working at this day and age. You just don't. So you will just have to to rely on new migrants coming with more knowledge for you. And also that your tribe is learning more on their own, discovering more on their own. So these are the, the uh, knowledges that will drop a bit and go up and down and up and down. That is the fishing, the hunting and of course the leather working. But yeah, <clears throat> so I only have two fishes, I kind of had that coming. Yep. Yeah. The game will respond to how you play, and that's the way it is. Okay, only one is lacking a tomb now, because there's one available there. That uh, people with uh, will have someone buried in. of our food because the nuts seem to be fairly low. We're also quite low on straw. Still lacking one then. Twelve. <laughs> it's insane. Come on. All the elder ones are dying. Look, look. So many elder people are, are dying. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. <laughs> oh well, we've just built more graves. It is what it is. So we are getting more graves. Good, good, good. How many are we lacking now? Only one. <laughs> Happy to hear that. <laughs> Happy to see that. them to that let me see how many do we have left oh we have tons left i'm not sure i can be arsed waiting for that <laughs> we have got a really nice village here don't, don't we a really nice one i think 
I think that's basically going to be it for this playthrough. Um, we have gotten everything we need. We just need to not blindly accept absolutely everything that can walk, talk and crawl. And we will do good. Uh, just keep an eye on your groups all the time and adjust as you go along. I think that is basically the thing that you need to keep an eye on, the balance between things. Not everything is super easy to understand. Um, a lot of the things you you learn, you will f actually learn from yourself by playing. Look, now we're getting it back because people are discovering stuff on the right. So this guy has discovered some more fishing knowledge. Yeah. So basically trying to keep uh, the entire tribe happy. It's not an easy feat to do when you have almost six, uh, 600. Uh, yeah, let's not exaggerate here, Lily. When you have almost uh, 300 population. It is not easy to do in the sliders. And you just need to be very vigilant in keeping an eye on absolutely everything. We were lucky uh, with that we had plenty of food, wild food to rely on as well, while we waited for the farms to be balanced enough to actually take care of the population. And also try to not overdo your livestock because you will need to feed them, otherwise they will die from hunger. And you know, that's never fun, never fun. So we should try to avoid that under any circumstance really. Um, the um, the patch itself is fabulous. I absolutely love that we got animals. I don't love the rats as such. I don't like what they're doing. But it's part of what is real, isn't it? It's just basically how it was and how it still is. Rats are and always will be rats. Um, so, yeah. So this was quite uh, uh, invigorating to play. I haven't played beginners this uh, long in a long time I haven't played this since we actually implemented beginner uh, difficulty but it was fun to see how it played out with the animal husbandry and you certainly need to do some some changes in your mythology otherwise your of course your population and your livestock will starve so yeah I'm quite happy with that um, I do like that we got um, more than one species of animals that we have domesticated. Uh, I do miss the sheep though because the sheep is also a very integral part of Neolithic farming because uh, the sheep um, gave them not only wool but also milk. Uh, large parts of England had a huge amount of sheep that they made cheese from as well and also of course drank the milk. Um, so yeah but you know things are being added bit by bit uh, still early release still have a little bit to go before release actually is ready to be implemented but uh, yeah I'm um, I'm very very optimistic I really really enjoy really really enjoy the game still and uh, I do like that the, uh, the devs are so actively adding more stuff and uh, making it better and better quality I think that it, it shows that they have real love for the game it's it's not money they're after it's it's the game It's to develop their dream and I completely respect that I absolutely really admire that so that is good so now we have managed to to build what we wanted to build I would have liked to to build our passage tomb as well but I can't have a 14 hour long video I will just have to to wait and <laughs> until I have less population then play a bit more aggressively with building and uh, a proper agenda because I didn't really have an agenda as such I just wanted to start the Neolithic and play for a long long time and see how the game behaved with all the new changes and I quite enjoy it so yeah now next step is to do this hardcore I'm going to start much further up north to make it as hard as possible and I'm going to go further and further down south through several countries I hope and uh, yeah finish it when I have built stuff that I would want to build so that was um, that was that 
and that is where I will end this video. Thank you so much everyone for following me and I hope it was both fun and useful for you to watch this playthrough. I had a lot of fun doing it and the next video of course will be my hardcore trek through half of Europe if I can. Um, it hopefully won't be as long as this one though but I felt that it was so much fun I just couldn't stop you know when you're having fun time flies that's just the way it is so until next time have fun and do take care